Who has ice in their veins? Who can handle the temperature drop? Can you feel the goosebumps? We're gonna crown a champion by the end of tonight. Cause the chill is setting in. Welcome to the big stage, young fella. My name is Dot, I'm 22 years old, and I'm here to win the belt. The newcomer in his first MCS event. I belong here. I beat some of the best players. I think I could definitely walk away with the belt. We've got Abram right here, young and hungry. My name is Abram, and my ultimate goal is to win the ultimate Madden Bowl. Don't count this man out just because he's a newcomer. He's here to play. I should definitely be like top five after this tournament for sure. His first MCS major appearance, his first Final Four. I'm Tori and my goal is to walk out of here with a belt. He can become the seventh competitor to win a belt in his first live appearance. I want to be a known name in the Madden community and continue to battle for belts. It's MCS Zero Chill and it starts now. Man, one of the most anticipated programs of the year. We're going to give you all of the players, the sets, everything involved with the Zero Chill program. I know there are a lot of people out there waiting on the edge of their seat to see what's coming up. It is time for the Zero Chill reveal stream live from our studios here in Redwood City, California. It's going to be a lot of fun because we get to talk some Madden Ultimate Team and talk about some of these guys that we're going to see in that playoff qualifying, the brackets and then that playoff tournament coming up in January. These are going to be some big pieces of it. So happy to have you guys along with us. Nick Mazesco, Clef the God, one great user. We're going to walk you through the Zero Chill release. Let's get right to it because I don't know about you guys, but A, not only am I excited, but having looked at this, it's a beefy program. There's a lot that goes into it. So let's start off with this is release number one. We're going to have multiple of these releases throughout the month uh, of December. So we've got uh, eight stocking stuffers, 1282 overall low elite, oh, elites, 1286 overall high elites, 890 overall heroes, 493 overall champions, and 294 overall LTDs. And user's gonna have all of them. He's giving them all away out of his pocket. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. I think that's the job for St. Nicholas. I'll get him. I'll yeah. get him. I'll get him. He's yeah. I think he's in the lobby. I heard he was getting dinner. Yeah. Um, this program is gonna consist, of course, it is, we've seen it with Harvest, we saw it with most feared. There's gonna be zero chill chemistry, which is gonna get users that plus one or plus two speed boost to their zero chills players, along with other rating boosts and possibly a plus three speed boost. We'll get to that in just a little bit. We're gonna recover everything from Gick items to those Madden Express stop schedule to sets to challenges to field passes and of course the zero chill head to head event, the seasons and the drops and of course all the items. So that's it guys, um, pretty light day. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad, let's talk stocking stuffers. There's gonna be eight stocking stuffers in release one users can earn through the program. These players can be upgraded from 82 overall to 91 overall through various challenges. Um, additional stocking stuffer players will be available during that release too. You're gonna to be able to upgrade these through the, the snowflake currency, which you're gonna be able to get through various ways within the program. Uh, let's talk stocking stuffer players. Let's start off uh, defensive line. Where my fan? Where my pay? Dodimus got to be excited about this. We got Patriot, Devon Godcho. Uh, this is the 91 overall, so this is the fully upgraded item. Uh, 78 speed, 93 strength, 78 finesse move for a guy who's uh, pretty pretty big guy having that good finesse move. Um, 89 block shot, certainly that run stopper archetype. We move on to the man, the myth, the legend. Mm. I don't want to say. I don't want the now the former now starting New York Jets quarterback possibly Zach Wilson. Who knows what can happen in the next couple days? Uh, 91 overall, he gets 91 throw power, 92 short accuracy, um, and I think every Jets fan is like, man, I wish he had those ratings in real life. Uh, let's move on to the defensive side of the ball. How about C.J. Henderson, a former okay. Jacksonville Jaguar top pick? Now he's playing for. Hashtag, hashtag keep, keep pounding. pounding. Keep, keep pounding. pounding. Yeah. Hashtag keep pounding. 91, 91 speed. Mm -hmm. 92 excel. Down in the mills right now, though. Down in the mills. That's, that's wild. Well, how you temp We just, just beat y'all. We 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 were trying y all. to do the promo, but here you, here you go. We just beat y'all, so I knew you was going to bring that up. You know that's what I'm saying? That's crazy. Fire the camera. That's crazy. Who needs a fullback? Because we got Michael Burton out there. Denver Broncos, Kem. Uh, also gets Lions, Bears, Commanders, Saints, and Chiefs. This guy who's played for a lot of teams. One of those great chemistry guys. 
um, if you're going to look for team chemistry at the fullback position. Uh, outside linebacker, how about Byron Young from the Los Angeles Rams? He got one of those rookie premier items. Now he's getting an upgrade here in the Zero Chill. Stocking stuffers, 6'2", 248. We need an offensive lineman to help protect Zach Wilson and all of his glory. So how about Bernard Raymond, Colts offensive tackle, 6'6", 307 at offensive tackle. Again, these are all the fully upgraded 91 overalls. So uh, you'll be able to upgrade these through that snowflake currency. There we go. We got a Cleveland Brown. Mm. Greg Newsom. I watched him get cooked a couple times uh, this weekend. So we'll, we'll, we're fine. Greg's fine. Greg's good. Uh, Greg Newsom coming in 91 speed, 91 excel with that Browns chemistry. Uh, and last but not least, Nick Gates, center. Uh, this is uh, just another one of those offensive pieces. If you're looking to build out that zero chill chem, these are the stocking stuffer items. So uh, make sure you are on the lookout for these stocking stuffers. I think everybody's looking for stocking stuffers. It's the holiday season. So, man, you gotta have it. You Can gotta you? Have it. I mean, listen, if I'm sitting there and I open up my stocking and uh, Zach Wilson's in there, I'm asking some questions, okay? First of all. And then, second of all, I'm being thankful. Because <laughs> you gotta be thankful yeah. for what St. Nick did for you. Yeah, I mean, could be worse. Know. It could always be worse. Uh, let's talk 82 overall low elites. Here's your full list of items. Kella Witherspoon's on there. That's a pretty good young corner out there. Luke Farrell's getting some play at tight end. Larry Ogunjobi. Uh, 82 overall low elites. Uh, let's go to 86 overall high elites. You got Luke Gedeke. You got Jake Elliott, kicker. Romeo Dobbs. He's, man, that Packers offense finally starting to come along a little bit. Jordan Love actually might be pretty good. Uh, he's looked good the last couple of weeks. Desmond Ritter on there. Shout out to the Falcons fans out there. So, those are stocking stuffers. 82 overalls, 86 overalls. Deep breath. I know nobody... Uh, listen, it's, shout out to the team, but that's not what people are here for. They mm -hmm. want to know who are the beasts that are going to come out and help them. And Who's going to make the squad, man? Who's making the squad? Show me the cards that's going to make the squad. Well, let's talk... 90 overall. So these are the 90 overall heroes. Uh, maybe on, on some teams, these are definitely going to be those guys that are giving you some of that zero chill chemistry. Um, and maybe some team chems out there. Let's start out with right end AJ Epinesa. Uh, 90 overall. 6'5", 265 for AJ Epinesa. We move on uh, to a guy who's having a, actually a, a quietly a nice year on a team that is okay. The Indianapolis Colts. We got wide receiver Josh Downs, um, who is an absolute burner out there. 90 speed, 92 jumping here in Madden. Uh, 5'10", 175, so definitely that slot wide receiver archetype. Uh, we move on to, I'm going to say it because I get to it. I'm running this show. Former Buckeye Pete Warner working for that New Orleans Saints defense at outside linebacker. 6'3", 242, 91 speed, 94 excel at outside linebacker. These are the 90 overall heroes in the Zero Chill program. We go to the offensive line, Los Angeles Charger, one of the best centers in the game, Corey Lindsley. 6'3", 301, Packers and Chargers chem for Corey Lindsley. A guy who's having a great year, by the way, and one of the most fun teams to watch. How about Nico Collins with the Houston Texans? 6'4", 215, so definitely one of those big body wide receivers. 90 speed, again, with that uh, with the zero choke chem, you can bump that all the way up to 92. Uh, we go, somebody who's going to have to match up with him. How about a cornerback? Let's go Jamel Dean, Buccaneers. Hey, shout out to Tampa. Yeah, fire the cannons, man. You can love to see a buck on here. You love to see it. 6'1", 208, 90 speed, 90 excel corner. And we finish off the 90 overalls with tight end Irv Smith Jr. The Bengals, I swear, have 35 tight ends. I mean, have you watched them? They play Irv Smith. They play Tanner Hudson. They play Wilcox. They play Drew Sample. They run four tight ends right now. And Jake Browning's looking like a beast. Do you believe in Jake Browning? Ooh, I need to see more than one game, man. It's giving me yeah. Lynn's, it, I feel like it's Lynn's sanity right now. You know what I'm saying? I need to see more than one. Jeremy Lynn was tough. He was. For about Jeremy 10 Lynn games. For about 10 games, he was. Nick <laughs> Slayton. He was solid. All right, so those are your 90 overall heroes. We go from there, and I know you guys are excited for these. These are the 93 overall champions. We start mm. off Mr. T.J. Watt, 6'4", 252, 91 speed, 92 excel at outside linebacker. Let me tell you what we got in terms of abilities. Tier 4 ability bucket, under pressure for 3, speedster for 2, 
tier five ability bucket, speedster for one, no outsiders for one. TJ Watt, really nice piece. Yeah, TJ Watt is always, a, first of all, he's probably the best defensive player in the league. Him and Miles Garrett, they just, they just dogs. And just to get them discounted abilities, you get that speedster, get that edge pressure off the edge faster. I mean, this is, this is a dog for a card right here. Usually you need a quarterback? Always. All right, how about Jalen Hurts? Ooh, Jalen Hurts. How about Jalen Hurts? So I need to know the abilities. Go ahead. I got you. All right, so it's Jalen Hurts, 6'1", 223, 89 speed quarterback. Tier four ability bucket. Set feet lead for four. Mm -hmm. Hot round master for three. Mm -hmm. Dashing dead eye for two. No look dead eye for two. Tier five ability bucket. Red zone dead eye for one. Gift wrap, zero AP. Wow, wow. And the Eagles team team was already one of the best theme teams out. And they just got even stronger with Jalen Hurts. And correct me, did you say gift wrap for zero AP? Zero AP. So we it's, can it's have actually checked. It's free 99. Is what free 99. Yeah. So we can get gift wrap for free, which we know all gifts must be wraps. It's, it's the, a holiday it's, season. It's a holiday season. You got to wrap it up. So then you can throw set feet lead on, you know, and then gunslinger. And you said they're 89 speed, 94 throw power. I mean... Checks all the boxes. I mean, this yeah. could be somebody that we see in play a lot this weekend with those playoff ladders. Yeah, this would be the meta quarterback. You know, if you don't have this quarterback, to be real, you're really not trying to win. You're going to be at a disadvantage. Gift wrap for zero AP, which arguably is the best ability in the game right next to set feet. You know, you can catch everything. You know, you can high pass and it be accurate, and they'll still catch the high passes, which they won't if you don't have gift wrap. This quarterback right here, he gonna be on my team. You know, I want to win. He gonna be on my I, team. I gotta know the Kims. How, how are the Kims working on here? Uh, you get Eagles and you get zero chill. <laughs> is it double like uh, the I harvest? I don't believe so. I believe it is. This one is not like harvest. I think it's just it's the you get either or. Okay. So you don't, as you can see, you, you've only got one on there. So you get to choose between Eagles or zero chill. Let's move on to one of the great personalities in football. Skip, 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 uh, uh, skip. Settle down, settle down, skip. Uh, it's Mr. Shannon Sharp. Okay, Shannon Sharp, chemistry is Broncos and Ravens, obviously. Uh, you're looking at abilities at the tight end position. There are a lot of them in that tier four bucket. 6'2", 228, tier four ability bucket. Short in, short out elite for three. Outside apprentice, slot apprentice for two. Slotomatic for three, tank for two, tight end apprentice for two. Tier five, mid out elite for one, matchup nightmare for one. Mm. I know tight ends in this game, they're not mm. maybe the sexiest position and not everybody's always looking for a tight end, but Man, if you're able to get your hands on Shannon Sharp, it feels like that's a nice wrinkle that you can add, especially I mean, in some of those bunch formations. And he's one of the tight ends that had the best jukes, so it's a definite reason to use him. It's going to be a tough decision between him and Gronk because, you know, Gronk gets that tight end apprentice for one AP, but if you don't need that tight end apprentice, Shannon Sharp is obviously the tight end. Yeah, this is going to be the guy right here everybody going to be using because exactly what you just said. Juking right now is by far the best move in the game. You know, Gronk and Truck, but Truck is not that good this year. The fact that he's 92 speed, mm -hmm. and if you're using a theme team, can get to 93 speed, fast as your receivers, maybe even 94, and can juke and get busy in open field, you know, it's a, mu a must-have. All right, last but not least, this item is so good, we had to put together a little video to reveal the final, the 93 overall players from the Zero Chill program. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Calvin Johnson, out of position, cornerback. First of all, before we get into the nitty gritty and talk abilities and all that, user, it feels like every time a Calvin Johnson out of position comes out, it's one of the best items in the game. Arguably, easily the best cornerback in the game. That's why I love that he's been a staple in the out of position. Out of position program, 6'5", 92 speed. I already know you're going to tell me he gets deep out for free. He's going to get flat zone for free. This is all the wishes that I'm working okay. I want him to I'm have every ability I'm not gonna, for free. So let's let's talk abilities. Again, 6'5", 236. Again, cornerback, 92 speed. You can bump that up to 94. Possible. Uh, let's talk tier 4 ability bucket. Flat zone for 2. Acro for 2. Deep out zone for 3. Mid zone for 3. Deep in zone for 2. Tier five ability bucket, pick artist for one, flat zone for one. Okay. Yeah, this going this right okay. here, he's gonna be the best DB in the game. You know, six five gets high zone, gets the flat zone mm -hmm. for one AP, and then you gotta think the catching. He's a he's a receiver, so turn DB 
you know, with the zero chill. So his catching is going to be real good. So your chances to catch a pick, which catching matters on this game, it's going to be way greater. I think he just became the best cornerback because – Best corner. I mean, he has flat zone for mm -hmm. one AP. And then you can stack, stack that with the deep out. And, you know, we was looking at Richard Sherman. Mm -hmm. Richard Sherman is a limited, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how much he pushing the market. And then you had Asante Samuels, another cornerback that had the flat zone for one AP. But now he's short. We, that's right. He, he is 6'5". He's, he's, he's an itty bitty. Yeah, You're right. Is. You know, now you have two guys, 6'3", six, 6'5", six, that has that flat zone for one AP. I feel like, you know, there's a must. Well, let's talk LTDs. There are two of them in this first release of the Zero Chill program. We're going to start out with one of the best at his position, leading a team who may be the best in the entire league, Fred Warner, middle linebacker, LTD. By the way, look at that art. Uh, you got to give credit to the art team every time you can. That's a beautiful art style. 92 speed, 94 XL uh, for Fred Warner, rocking that 49ers chem. Tier 4 ability bucket, under pressure for three, film study for three, lurker for two, lurk artist for one. Tier 5 ability bucket, you like lurk artist for one, how about lurk artist for zero? Oh, we need that. And secure tackler for one in that tier 5 bucket, but... Lurk artist for zero. That's a must. And this is the third linebacker out now that has Lurk artist for zero AP. Ray Lewis from the cover athlete. We just had Josh Allen that dropped their head. Lurk artist for free. This is a nice, nice addition to the squad. 92 speed. We're going to get them up to 94 because we're running 50 zero mm -hmm. Yeah, just just having Lurk artist for zero AP, that's, that's the best ability on defense. And you can get it for free. You know, the way the linebackers jump with Lurk Artists, they jump better than safeties, and the AI will jump for you. You don't even have to be using that guy. So you really need to have as many of these guys out here as possible. Like user said, you need Fred Warner, you need Josh Allen, and you need Ray Lewis. Clef, you like wide receivers? Love them. Mm -hmm. You need a wide receiver? I always need a wide receiver. Who's the fastest wide receiver in the game? Come on. Three. Who we got Come right on. now? We got Tyreek Hill, 95 speed. Wide receiver, you can bump that to 97 speed with the zero chill chems. 95. Dolphins, 95. This is getting real close to 99 mm. because now you're 97. I heard you said it's a possibility. Plus but we'll get three. there. We've been teasing it, but let's You've talk. You've been teasing it. Let's talk abilities. This could be out of control right now. 95 speed. Look at all those. Nine. There's not an eight on the board there. It is all 90s across the board. Here's your abilities. Tier four. Short in, short out, deep in, deep out for three. Outside Apprentice for two, Slot Apprentice for two, Slot Automatic for three. In that tier five ability bucket, mid in Elite for one, mm -hmm. Slot Apprentice for one. Ooh. And that and that's why you need Jalen Hurts, because Jalen Hurts gonna save you uh, one AP with gift wrap for zero AP. Now you can have set feet, gunslinger, and gift wrap six AP, and now you can slide in Tyreek Hill for that extra one AP you are, Slot you, Apprentice. You already done put the line I done up put it together. together. I know you what I'm doing. You already put the line up Look, together. As soon as it's over, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing when I get home. Is, it, I need is, that. is this a crazy comment? I feel like for what Michael Vick was for Madden 04 and beyond, that's what Tyreek Hill has become for this game. Because every time you get Tyreek on the field, because he's such a game breaker and there's no way to tone him down, he's Tyreek Hill. He's become that Michael Vick of this era of, like, how do you guard him, especially in a video game? It's tough because he's his speed. He's always going to be faster than a DB. And now you have him at slot apprentice for one AP. So you know he's a must. You're going to have him out there on the field. You're trying to cover him on the crosses, streak routes, whatever. You know, a lot of people like to press now and run cover three zones. And a lot of people can hit that seam right in the middle with that set feet lead. You're not going to play those cover three games with Tyreek Hill. It's going to be uh, fun to watch or for some people just painful trying to stop Tyreek Hill. Ask anybody in the NFL how hard that is. Let's talk about how we can get some of these items in-game. These are your sets. Uh, the 93 overall champions have their, each player has their own set. It is that five, they get 590 overall players from any program, you can get a 93 overall champion. 90 overall heroes, six 86 overall zero chill players, and four 84 to 85 overall players from any program. To get those 86 overall elites, 7 82 overall zero chill players, and to get the 82 overall elites, 3 80 to 81 overall players from any program. So those are your sets, how to get those items in game. You know people are going to be going after those 93 overall champions, trying to get their hands on guys like Jalen Hurts. Let's talk kick items. We got Deron Payne. He's a 90 overall um, when you log in, upon logging in, all users are going to get that 85 overall Duran Payne. Uh, Commander's Chem 6'3", uh, 320 pounds. Uh, you can upgrade Payne to 88 overall with a power-up they'll earn through the Madden Express stop schedule. Snowflakes can be used to boost him all the way up to 91 overall. So this 90 overall, not even the highest one. You can get it up to 91 overall. 
It's a lot of players. Mm -hmm. A lot of players. But guess what? We're not here. we're not done. Okay, you, this is my packet. This is all the all the zero chill. I got a couple pages left. So that tells you there's even more to come. So we're gonna start off with the Madden Express stop schedule. So uh, ways to get some rewards in game. Uh, this is really interesting. These objectives will require you to interact with Zero Chill in a number of ways to earn re rewards. Here's some examples. Uh, you can get to level five of the field pass completing one Zero Chill set. There's a chill out strat item. And I don't know if you, if, have you looked through all the things you can get? This is a maxed out Z, uh, Zero Chill theme team. If you look at the bottom, you use this chill out strat item. So we get all these. You get an a, a additional plus one speed. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if you can do the math there, but not, Tyree Kill starts at 95. You go 50 0 chill, it gets to 97. Add this strat item. You got 98 speed Tyree Kill out there. Is this a temporary strat item? Or is it going to be active? Don't time? ask me questions. Hey, hey, you know me. You know I'm, I'm looking down Pick the road. Pick up the phone user. Call the dev K Spade. I know he's blocked your number at this point, <laughs> so you're going to have to go restrict it. He doesn't want you calling him anymore. K Spade, let us know, man. The people are wondering what's going on. Where you been? Man coverage plus two. Zone coverage plus two. All the route running. Play rec strength, but that speed. That's what everybody's got their eye on. Yeah, you got to think about using a zero chill theme team. You really have to, because you come out there and you plan against somebody with Tyreek Hill, 50, uh, 50 zero chill. With that speed, plus 198 speed, you got to you gotta go out there and get that zero chill. You have to. You guys do your do you guys do your solos? Do your challenges? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know it? me, no money User spent. User no money spent, so we say. Yeah. I would like to so do I a deep dive. You. Hold on, on his account and see what, what's really going on over there. So I say, what's you, you what, sound like you questioning my grind. What, what's really going on over there? Sound like you questioning you, my grind, you, brother. Yeah, all these cards. As, and as I, one great user's guys. legal representation, I have to step in here and say he pleads the fifth. Uh, 40 total <laughs> challenges in this release. Uh, you can see on the screen the Welcome to Zero Chill, the Madden Express, Frozen Festivities, and Zero Chill Challenge Rewards Frozen Force. All with 10 challenges, varying stars. Do your solos. Get your stars. I, I don't know what more to tell you. If you're not doing your solos right now, I got... I, I think you're probably struggling. Yeah, you got, you got to do these solos. All right, we go from the challenges. Let's talk the Welcome to Zero Chill rewards. Here are the stars for doing your challenges. What can you get? Get some account bound 82 overalls, 86 overalls. Oh, you get a stocking stuffer at 16. You see the presents at 20. Now, are you guys big present collectors during Zero Chill? I know every there's some people that really look forward to that because you never know what you're going to get when those open up on December 25th. Yeah, I just, I, I can't wait. You know, I can't wait. I probably won't sleep good that night just waking up, man. It's, it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas just to wake up and just open all these gifts, man, and just and hope you, I get Jalen You know Hurts. what I love the most about the presents? We have these guys that think they work for the CIA. Mm -hmm. You know, they're always looking at the rapping. They're like, oh, I can tell by the way the rapping is, this is going to be Tom Brady. And they're always wrong, but I just love to hear their prediction because they see the globe and stuff, and they're like, yeah, I know this one's going to be King Henry out of position quarterback. I can't wait to see the presents, what they're going to have, and what the predictions are going to be this year. And you see us flip through. These are all the challenges. Each individual one has their own reward. So uh, these are for the Frozen festivities, and we're going to have new challenges releasing with the uh, future releases of Zero Champ, of Zero Chill. Let's go to the Forge Champion, the Frozen Forge Champion. How about 92 overall Brandon Graham? I mean, part of that D-line in Philly that is causing problems. Hold on, we added another eagle? Another eagle. Eagles theme team might be okay. User. I mean, I know Dubby going crazy right now. D Dubby, I know Pop's going crazy. Bobby V's going crazy. Shout out to all the Eagles fans out there. Uh, 6'2", 265. Tier 5 ability bucket for Brandon Graham. Goal line stuff for one. Run stopper for one. Another nice piece. And if you're you're an Eagles fan, you're certainly excited. Let's talk field pass. Here it is. I'm not going to read through all these. There's 30 levels. But... Yeah, at level 30, you get that auctionable zero chill hero or account bound champion in those fantasy packs. A lot of XP out there, a lot of snowflakes out there if you're looking to upgrade some of those items. We talked about the stocking stuffers. Um, level 25, you get Baker Mayfield. Mm. Tampa Bay Buccaneer and Cleveland Brown. We can agree on that, right? And the yeah, Panther yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All of us. We all win. Oh, that Baker's oh. our guy. <laughs> we are a big show. Thank you very much. Big shout out to Baker Mayfield at 84 speed. 91 overall uh, and makes everybody at this desk happy. Yeah. Or, you know, 
fan. I'm not gonna say as a Browns fan, I yelled at him not a one too one too many times. A little more than I'm proud of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was happy when he. he but here's the thing: I was at uh, I was in Cleveland Brown Stadium when he started his first when he came into his first game, the Jets Thursday night game. Uh, I have never heard a stadium that loud. Yeah. They went crazy for him. It's crazy how y'all took the keys to his home, man. He had all the commercials. What, what I, do you mean, y'all? Yo, yeah. what do you mean, y'all? I didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. They threw him under the bus. <laughs> yeah, they they crazy, threw him under man. the bus right there. You can't make those type of commercials and then send the man packing. It's crazy. Y'all sent him packing too, though. Uh, but we, he was, Carolina was never his home, though. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? It was temporary. He was visiting. He knew yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Uh, let's talk presents. Presents are going to be available in this program just like every year. So make sure you go check those out. These are all going to open Christmas Day, December 25th. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to see what is going to come out of those presents. Let's talk Zero Chill special events. We have some messaging from the team on the special events. Until we can be sure that special events for Zero Chill can be up to sufficient quality and not expound upon the ongoing head-to-head -head issues in Mutt, we'll be tentatively targeting release two for these events to go live. So I know there are gonna be a lot of people out there wondering where they are. Look for them for release two. Just gonna make sure that all is good and well once those gets released. Uh, it's time to take a look at the special Zero Chill Props program players can interact with throughout the month of December. Another way that players can get involved uh, with the Drops program in uh, Zero Chill. Uh, this is kind of interesting because I hear Drops and I think you're tuning in right now. And if you're not, if your account's not linked, you should do it because we're getting that, uh, that 91 overall, Mike Evans. So make sure that is. But let's talk a little bit about the Zero Chill Props program. We got a, a video to explain all about the program. The Madden Championship Series is back for the Madden 24 season. Wear your crown, King Henry. Shrini wins his second belt. Peyton Tuma is your Madden 23 Ultimate Madden Ball Champion. And there are some big changes. Crossplay. It's going to be Xbox and PlayStation and PC all available to qualify on crossplay. Pick up the sticks, play on your favorite system. Either way, you're going to have to end up playing some of the best guys. Single limb qualifiers. No more double elim qualifiers. Every game is life or death. This year, the MCS has added two more tournaments. More tournaments. More tournaments. I'm excited. It's going to be who consistent this year. With six tournaments, there's no breaks. More money. One point seven million dollars. 1.7 million dollars and more time to shine. The season begins with the ultimate kickoff and is followed by four monthly tournaments where players continue to compete for enough MCS points to qualify for the biggest Madden event of the year, for the ultimate Madden Bowl. It's time. It's time. It's time to call your number. That was fine, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're good. We just want to make sure you need... guys knew what was going on in the MCS. Sometimes you got to be reminded. You're welcome. You're Sometimes welcome. Sometimes you got to be reminded. A uh, little bit of technical difficulties. Sorry, I know everybody's watching that like, I think I knew about this program. But in case you didn't, you're welcome. Uh, let's talk about the Donald Pem you can get from the Zero Chill Drops program. Uh, so here's what you can upgrade it to. This is the 91 overall Donald Pem. Um, tight end. Uh, out of position. So you talk about a uh, big buck, 6'4", 315. He's got fullback secondary position. Um, he also gets all 32 team cams. So if you're looking to add something, get the zero chill team cam as uh, the zero chill cam as well. Um, you can earn these, the, the short version. I'll give you the short version. The short version is make sure you're watching Twitch. Okay, make sure you're watching Twitch throughout the zero chill program because there's going to be uh, ability to earn some drops in this zero to drop and earn towards that. Here's your zero chill watch schedule. So some of your favorite streamer, who was that on December 9th, uh, December 22nd, December 22nd, K-Max on there. W own, own great oozer. Is that, is that somebody? Mm -hmm. oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You streaming? I didn't know he was booting up. Come on, man. Why are you booting up the stream, man? Wait, hold on, time out. If you look December 29th, Clef, you, you getting involved with this? Yeah. That's close. That's me. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, that's you. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I, I, so, I, 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 yeah, opportunity. We're gonna have open directory. Look at all these dates. That anybody who's streaming Madden is gonna have these uh, zero chill drops. Uh, but December 22nd, 28th, and 29th. Tune into your favorite streamers. Good morning, Madden. You're gonna get an opportunity to earn these drops towards that Donald Penn item. So, uh, an opportunity just to watch your favorite streamer. I know 
everybody out there is going to be watching you two because you got to be on that list of favorite streamers yeah. and earning some zero chill drops. And I see W up there on the seven. Shout out to W. Really holding it down for the community right now, man. Wow. No comment. I'm just making sure they show them on the list. <laughs> Make sure they show them on the list, man. Coming up next, we've got our semifinal as Dotimus will take on Abram for a spot in the finals and to face Tori. A fantastic semifinal matchup, and it's all coming up next. It's zero chill season, and that means it's also about to be out of position Mike Evans season. This out of position free safety Mike Evans was designed by none other than recent MCS champion Kobo. Just like John Beast did with Tariq Woolen, Kobo had the team focus on the speed, man, and press ratings. For this MCS drop, Kobo was able to select two early access abilities. The abilities he selected were deep out zone KO and deep route KO. Kobo was also given the option to discount one tier two ability when he chose pick artists to be one AP instead of two. And if you're wondering, yes, you can equip the discounted pick artist with either KO ability if that is something you are looking to do. Remember, to earn this reward, you need to make sure you link your EA and Twitch accounts. Then watch the MCS Zero Chill broadcast on December 6th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on the EA Madden NFL Twitch channel. Once you meet the watch time requirements, be sure to claim your reward on the Twitch Drops page. And like all the other MCS Drop rewards, this Mike Evans will go into the MCS Champion set at the end of the season, which will grant users a high OVR MCS Champion player. So mark your calendars and be sure to tune in to the MCS Zero Chill broadcast on December 6th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on the EA Madden NFL Twitch channel. Those guys are hoping to be holding up the belt for real at the end of tonight. Our first semifinal, our only semifinal, it is Dotimus taking on Abram for a spot in the final for a chance to earn some more MCS points towards that all-important Madden Bowl berth. And they're looking for that 30K at the end of the road and the belt. Let's take a look at our bracket. And as you can see, AI Nash will not be competing tonight. He was disqualified from the event due to a violation of the code of conduct. The nature of the conduct was not in keeping with the values of our com competitions or electronic arts. That said, we got three fantastic competitors, Tori waiting in the wings for the winner of this Dot and Abram game. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape for this semifinal matchup. As you take a look, Abram, the veteran of the two, Clef, he's been here before, but you look at him, these guys are both relatively new, only three combined MCS majors. Fun fact, that includes this one. Yeah, yeah, they, these are new guys up here, man, but guys who aren't lacking confidence, you know. 
And I think that's the biggest thing when you're when you're up here. You can't lack confidence because things might go against you. And you're going to be nervous. These guys are playing for a lot of money. And you got to think about they playing for Madden more. So it's going to be real interesting to see how it play out. User, uh, this is one of those fun matchups because you talk about these two guys. Abram, he's got the experience on his side having been under the bright lights here in the studio. And talking to Dot, he said, listen, that's a little bit of an unknown for me. Yep. Uh, he's never played outside of a, a, some small underground stuff. He's never played on the big stage with this much on the line. And what's crazy, you know. I, that's I, crazy. I was <laughs> that is crazy. I, I was talking, you know, to the guys. And these guys, they, they almost would give you the impression as they're rookies. But to be honest, Abram is still close, the closest one to being a rookie, even though he has the most experience in the live event. Dottimus has been around for a while. But same thing with Tori. They're like, well, hey, Tori's saying, well, look, man, it's my first time playing on what? I'm like, it don't matter. You play Madden. You play rigs. You play competitively. And at the end of the day, this is the first time making these events. And Dottimus, 22 years old, I'm like, man, I felt like he was 30 because I've known him for so long. He, he, seems, he seems like he's always had a controller in his hand. Correct. Like from, a, from when he was a baby and not knowing what was going on. That's how long Dottimus has been around. As the kick is away... Appreciate you guys all hanging out with us. Let's get to know Abram a little better. His second major appearance, his second Final Four. So not a bad way to start the career, Clef. He's the only competitor to qualify in multiple monthly MCS Challenge events this season. And uh, we know how tough that is to get here with that single elimination bracket. The fact that he's made two of these is impressive. Yeah, it's tough. It, it's, it's more than impressive, man, to make two Final Fours. You know, in one year, you know, that's that's hard to do in a career, let alone one year. So he's coming into this tournament, haven't been here before on this stage. And, you know, he's got to feel like he has an edge on these guys just for the simple fact he done played up here before. Just 18 years old from Houston, Texas, one of the great young players uh, making his name. And this is somebody who uses now with two live qualifying. This is somebody we have a great chance of seeing at the Madden Bowl. And once you get there, you never know what could happen. I mean, yeah. I think Abram's going to be a lock just the way he's been playing the game and like he's been dealing with the patches and adjustments and having to change his game style. You know, before he fell off and we didn't see him in the harvest event, he said, hey, I, I got out of my element. I started running stuff that I normally don't run. And that's why, you know, but because he took that loss in the most feared event, sometimes you question how you got here, Clef, and you know all about it. And this time he settled back down. He said, let me go back to the Bears offense. Let me go back to what I know. And that's what got him back here. On the flip side, Donimus, who, by the way, has one of the coolest logos I have seen. I love that logo that they made for him. His first appearance here, working on obtaining his real estate license. But guess what? If he goes out and wins a tournament here, he might put real estate on the side. He might be buying his own house if he's able to take down this tournament and possibly a Madden Bulber. We get things going. Otto Graham at quarterback. Old school with a new school arm. He'll pick up 22 on the first plays. Abram moving quickly. And you see right now, you can see already what we're going to get. We got Dottimus in 6-1 right here. Deion Sanders at the user, the best user in the game when you combine his change of direction and just how he move out there on the field. Graham, right side. He's got Todd Gurley up the sidelines. Todd Gurley making plays, and Abram already down to the 40-yard line. And Clef, you touched on it right there that Dottimus has Deion Sanders in that 6-1 even. That's a 4-3 defense that he used to get he had to manipulate his depth chart to get Deion Sanders there. And, and as you see, Abram is using Gurley. And because Dottimus is running his defense like this, he's not going to be able to use players like Gurley or J.J. Watt. Come on, Sherman. Come on, Sherman. Yeah, it definitely limits you when you, even from a, a team chemistry standpoint, trying to get 50 players, you know, trying to get times two on a lot of players, it's definitely harder when you out here uh, glitching your lineup uh, the way Dottimus is. I'm seeing a Cleveland Brown at quarterback. Otto Graham back to work. Looking left side. Beamer. Graham to Graham connection. Call that a s'more. He's down to the 20 yard line. And Abram has a lot of reps playing against 6 1. You know, he's played against Mills a lot. He played against me in this tournament. I was running 6 1. So you can see, you know, he's, he's comfortable playing against this, this defense. Uh, and there goes the RPO. Mm -hmm. oh, Jerry Rice right. inside, outside, end zone. Abram, a masterful first drive. Real quick and easy using the RPOs, and that's how you use the bubble gum. You don't build an offense around the bubble gum. You just kind of sprinkle it in for a nice little bit of seasoning. You eat a nice meal and yeah. you grab a piece of bubble gum at the end. Yeah, yeah, you catch him off guard with it because now he's expected for all the routes. The one time he runs it, makes two, makes two players miss, touchdown. I'm just going to say, like, don't, don't say you use it as season. That makes it sound like you're sprinkling bubble gum on top of, like, sweet potato casserole, and then it's like, what? 
Mm. It, it's got a great chew, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's take a look one more time. There's the bubble screen and ready. Whoop! Excuse me. Pardon me. Into the end zone. Great drive from Abram. That's got to settle the nerves a little bit. Oh, yeah, definitely. And for Dodimus, that got to up the nerves. You know, you give up seven that quick, that easy on your first drive here. You know, that's, that's a real nerve-wracking spot because now the pressure on you to go down here and even this game up. And Abram does a great job of coming out embarrassed and coming out and bunch strong and audibling around. What he did right there, he came out and just quick hiked him. You know, you can't even adjust for the RPO. And you can tell he's so comfortable in that Bears play. But when you watch somebody run their offense this fast, that's somebody who's not even thinking. They're just flowing. Yeah, and it's somebody who you – it's every one of those guys that's hard to prepare for. You don't see people come out here and gun bunch strong out of Bears and run plays out of that. And then audible to a, a great formation like tight slots. Now we get to see Dodimus go to work on offense for the first time. So he's got Anthony Richardson back to pass. He'll find Smith underneath. Jets offensive playbook for Dodimus. Clef, what can we expect to see? Exactly what you see him doing right here. Coming out of bunch, Audible to bunch strong. Real quick, you know, this play, Bunch Strong has a lot of great stuff. You can see him right here going to this double corner play, exactly why he got Matt Collins. And Richardson with the speed gets outside. He throws it late, and uh, it's going to be on the run out of reach. Surprise, you don't see too many guys making that late read on the sidelines, but Dodimus, he's going to sling the ball. Yeah, it, and it's very risky to make that read, but like you said, Dodimus, he, he, he plays a lot. If you ever seen Astro play running his Jets, he plays a lot like Astro. Anthony Richardson, rookie out of Florida. Fortunately, oh, lost nice this season man. in the NFL. He finds Edron James. First down and more past midfield. Beautiful use of the playmaker user. Yes, and you see both guys are running a 6-1, even defense out of 4-3. But Abram choosing to use linebackers at those positions. He has Ray Lewis at defensive tackle. I mean, at defensive end. That's a beamer. Right up the seam. There goes the edge once again. Down to the red zone, boys. We got an offensive game already. Yeah, and it's the hardest play to stop out of Gunch and Bunch Strong. It's that, it's that running back on that streak route with the slot on a post. You know, it does a great job of holding them yellows. Look at right beamer. side. He's got Woo! Carter to the pylon. A beautiful throw and a point to the camera. In his first live event user, Dodimus looks calm, cool, and collected. Yes, both of these guys, you can tell offensively, they are relaxed. Tip no hitches in the really offense. Nice. Everyone just drove down the field and easily. Slide. Scored. Talking to him before this game, I'm Clef, he said, what's he going to have on the headphones? Drake, 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 and more Drake. He got. He, he said he had Drizzy Drake, man. He showed me a whole yeah, playlist of nothing but me. Drake, what Drake performed at the concert he went to. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got It's your favorite Christmas music. Hey, that's my favorite Christmas music, man. <laughs> it's you know, not that's, Christmas it's, music. Yeah, it is. Man. Don't First sell all, that don't to the Don't disrespect people. the GOAT. He got music for everything. No. Yes, he do. He does not have no Christmas music. Stop it. Yes, he do, man. You man. You ever heard Bahamas Promises? Drew Picasso. You haven't Come heard on. started from the bottom and reindeer? <laughs> Come no. on now. Y'all got to stop. Santa Claus man. started from the bottom. <laughs> Y'all got to really stop. RPG no, for real. Y'all have to stop, so we man. Lose really, the South Pole. Top, this top like the Those is one I can get you is Chris Brown, man. No way we're going to get at the drink. <laughs> Take a look one more time at the touchdown. A little wheel route right side. Carter in between the zones. Beautiful throw from Richardson. And, and just high passing. That's why high passing is so good right there. Because if he doesn't high pass that, that's potentially picked off at least – a swatted down. So great hot pass by Donovan on a vertical. Right. It's a couple minutes into the first quarter. We've got seven points on the board each way. Autogram back to work. A, by the way, I, I believe he is the Northwestern Wildcat with the most passing yards out of that school. The greatest Northwestern quarterback to go to the NFL. Look at the left side. There's that Graham to Graham connection. Jimmy tightrope walking his way down the sidelines like a Walenda brother. Yeah, and both of these guys using set feet lead, the ability that we showed you in the pregame, able to put the ball on the rope with a lot of velocity. Is he able to make passes that maybe guys who don't have set feet lead, maybe not playing up, maybe playing franchise, you're like, how did he make that pass That's with that set feet lead ability? There's Randy Moss. You know his name. 84 inside the red zone. And so far... Put it on a milk carton, Clef. We got no defense. It's missing. Yeah, and this is way too easy. You know, man at 24, you're going to give up yardage, but this is way too fast-paced for both of these guys. They're That's giving up. There it's it is. too quick. 84 once again. Randy Moss has been in the end zone once or twice in his career, and it's a touchdown for Abram. Man, you got to make people work on this game. You have to make people work so you can put yourself in a position to get a fumble. It's a you know, minute to get and 20-second drive. Yeah, these are, this is way too up-tempo, especially in a live event. You want to do your best. To I mean, they, slow they, things now. They playing the game like it's a Discord game. So, oh, yeah. so here's my question: When you see your defense getting torn up this much, 
is there a thought of changing your defense or is this just I know what to run I'm running this and I just got to find a way to adjust better I think you will see Donovan's come out here next next drive and run dollar I, okay. I truly believe that I think he's played enough to understand when to get out of defense like I said Abram is very comfortable with verse 6-1 he's played so many people in 6-1 and these drives right here I mean he's throwing one completion you know he's marching all the way down the field when with little resistance well, back to work goes Donovan's offense. He's scored on the first drive, and finally a little bit of pressure, able to get in the backfield. Richardson just gets rid of it. And you see Abram in the defense. You really don't see people run much. This is Dime right here, the Dime formation. He, he kind of mixing it in with an A-gap with Josh Allen. Stepping right with Richardson. Going to use the, yeah. use the playmaker to try to pull the defender. He'll pick up four on the ground with Richardson. That's what Richardson gives you, user, is the ability to get outside the pocket and pick up some yards on those broken plays. You know, Richardson, the fastest guy right now with that set feet lead. So a lot of guys are using him. Even though Otto Graham gives you that discount gunslinger, some people are saying, hey, I like AR-15 because of that speed. Oh, nano detector. Nano detector throws it left side and a little poor accuracy. You hate to see the orange text pop up at the bottom. Yeah, and you could tell this defense got Dottomus a little bit uncomfortable as far as his pocket. You saw right there, Dolan Smith got detected. But Donovan slid all the way outside the pocket because he thought he was coming through. Big four. Oh, down he oh my lord! I mean, you're talking a, a whiskers hair from being intercepted. But Devonte Smith makes the catch and a first down as we head to the second quarter. I mean, those are the throws that make every muscle tighten up. You're just like, oh, did I? Did I just throw a ball? And he goes to the ground right after the first run play. Really, we've seen. Uh, as Edwin James picks up a couple guys, make sure you scan that QR code right now. Sign up for the playoff challenge. I see a user's, well, user's not scanning it. Clef's scanning it, but user's not. User, you're not even going to sign up? You know what? Uh, I, uh, I think I'm going to let everybody go. You're going to let the young gun get it, huh? See what I'm saying? Now, now I got to suit up. Now, now, now I got to suit up. When you're going to talk to me like that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll never disrespect you, man. We remember. <laughs> you one of the players of this generation, man. You one of the players. Listen, and that's the last time you're going to say that. You one of the players. That's a compliment. That's no, respect. Ghost like, is one of the players of this generation. You one of the generation. defensive players of this generation. Nah, nah. Seriously. Like, I respect every. I respect it. And, and the world respect it, too, man. It's so sad, man. The backhand compliment is crazy. Somebody's writing in chat right now, the 1995 Blockbuster champion. Richardson. Oh, oh that's a no. Move. Man, we have seen a lot of inaccurate throw. passes from Anthony Richardson. Most of those cross body rolling away, trying to make some, some hero plays. One of these is going to get intercepted. Yeah, and, and as you see, you know, neither guy is able to get that turnover. Abram had a chance to pick off Dottomus right there. Dottomus had a chance on Abram's open drive to get an interception, just unable to do it. Defense right there. All right, fourth and seven from the 36. I don't think Dot's kicking three here. And this is his second, fourth down this drive. Now, last time he escaped. Ooh, he escaped. Off. It could have been picked off with Josh Allen. Can we see Edron James on the streak right here? We, we go, we'll see. Mackie motions to the right. Anthony Richardson in the gun. Edron James offset to his left side, stepping back with oh, Richardson. Defense. Taking a what shot over the top end. Makes oh the catch goodness. at the two-yard line. What a catch from the edge. That's hot. Oh. Dottom is saying that's hot. I kind of feel like that's fluke. <laughs> In traffic, able to get it down. But honestly, let's be real. There was no KOs around. Tight window. Fourth down, you got to put the ball in the air and give yourself a chance. Comes down with it in traffic. Edron James, big clutch catch to keep this drive going. No run left side. That's one of those throws. I mean, user, is that not... Was that not two examples of why you put set feet lead and why you use gift wrap? Got to have the gifts wrap. Got to have gifts wrap. Nobody likes a Christmas, a Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating. Nobody likes it with unwrapped gifts. Right there. Oh. Here's the edge. End zone, touchdown. And, you know, we talked to Dada Mystery, like, well, why aren't you using Todd Gurley? You know, everyone has the option to use Todd Gurley, J.J. Watt, because, you know, these cards mm -hmm. are granted. And he says, well, it's the way that Edron James runs the streak out the backfield. Edron James doesn't bump into the line. Todd Gurley does. And when it comes to plays like this fourth down situation that he just converted, he cannot risk his that, running back that little bumping time. into the line, you know, because that could cost him. You, you, you throw off the timing of that route by just even as much as him bumping into the line, all of a sudden you're not completing this pass. Take a look one more time. The set feet lead 
You did a great job on that breakdown, user and Clef, because you see oh, right there, hot. that was a, there was no loop. It didn't drop in there like one of Jordan Love's that's throws hot. to Romeo Dobbs the other night. That was a bullet all the way. Yeah, I'm not sure if even if he clicked on with Josh Allen and tried to swat if he could do anything with that. That's just a laser. And that's set feet lead for you. Three minutes and two seconds. How is Abram going to manage this clock? And that's the big difference why people like Torrey in this tournament, because Torrey, he's a Rex player, but he's known to manage the clock well. And sometimes when you're not getting a stop, you got to use the clock as a defensive stop. We're excited to announce that we are now accepting applications for the EA Madden Scholarship Program. We're proud to return for the second year to honor Coach Madden's commitment to bridging the gap and creating opportunities for underrepresented communities. The EA Madden Scholarship Program is a five-year commitment to historically black colleges and universities that will award at least two students per school with an up to $12,000 scholarship for the current academic year. The scholarship is open to current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors in select majors at the following HBCUs, Spelman College, Morehouse College, Clark Atlanta University, Howard University, North Come Carolina A&T, Prairie View A&M, do Southern this, University do and A&M College, do and this. Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. Deadline for all applications is Thursday, December 21st, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. Learn more and apply now, user. I know you hear that list of colleges. You went to one of those bad boys. How cool is this scholarship opportunity? It was, it was tough. That's a B! Come on now. Listen, I know you're shouting out all the colleges. Aggie Pride in the building, but I'm locked in on this game right now. I'm not even going to lie to you, Nick. Fourth and 17, I'm watching how Dottimus is turned up because he's ready to get the stop. He's telling Abram, go for it. Abram goes for it because he understands, understands what's on the line. Big fourth down conversion right there for Abram to keep this drive going. Dottimus, you have to get off the field. When you get your opponent a fourth and 17, I don't care what you got to dial up. But you got to get off the field right there. But also Aggie Pride. Aggie Pride. Second and three. Flat route. That's Randy Dandy. Out of bounds of the 42. Another first down. If you're Abram, you're trying to make this the last drive. Yeah. And Nick, that was a great read. You know Thanks, man. I appreciate that was, that was, that it. That was a great read. That was a great read. Real professional. I, could, I couldn't have done it better. They myself. kept scrolling down the prompter, and I'm like, there's more. Oh, God. There's more. Oh, God. Cram, bubble screen. Oh. Harry Rice, Juke Poof. Takes a big hit, but picks up seven, 13 to 14, 200 yards in the air. Toronto Graham. Dottom is choosing to burn his first time out, trying to save some of that clock. Surprised he used it there. And there's a second and three. Woo. Looking left side, it's Moss again. Good coverage on the bubble screen. And you know, I asked Abram, why did you chose to choose to go with Randy Moss? And he said, well, you know, I'm running 25 49ers. You know, I like the way, you know, the, the players that they have from Deion Sanders, Ronnie Lott, Jimmy Ward. Uh, you got Richard Sherman the Brandon Ayuk at wide receiver. Yeah, the Brandon Ayuk. And, and then the Jay Rice that just came out for the legends. So that's why he chose to go with Randy Moss because he got oh, him. He got the him. Side him. Oh, he missed him. Wow. No. No. Wow. Got him saying no like he played <laughs> phenomenal crazy. defense. You got to love it. That's the confidence. It's the that... corner that says incomplete pass on a ball that's thrown four yards over his head. You're like, what did you do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's going to go for this fourth and two. 53 seconds left. He was open. He had him. Offsets the bunch formation. Graham back to pass. Three-man rush. Steps left. Throws right as Jerry Rice wow. in coverage makes the catch. That's a dot right there. And Isaiah Pacheco out of position in coverage. First and 10. Clock running down 21 seconds and counting. Graham throwing Beamer. right. Oh, my goodness. On the run. In a, we have seen a lot of inaccurate passes in this game. Using. Yeah, I don't you know. He has the discount abilities, but he's, he's missed some passes. We've seen Dot. I mean... Four or five, a couple should have been picked off. Both players victimized by the inaccurate pass. Bubble. Bubble to Ayuk. Trying to find some room. Bring the first time out for Ava. 13 seconds left. I saw potential in you from the go. I don't know. Turn three. Both players looking for their first belt. Looking to seal up possible spot in the Madden Bowl. Get some more points. It's Graham back to pass. Stepping right. Trying to take off. Throws late. He finds Jimmy Graham. And Jimmy Graham out of bounds at the two-yard line. Seven seconds left. And that's big that he went out of bounds because with his timeouts, 
He still has the whole field open from the, from the two-yard line, can burn the timeout possibly. I think easily get two plays, maybe three, depend, depending on how quick this next play is. First and goal, under center, splits Gronk. Wide to the left, he'll run it right, Doesn't and that either. was too easy. Todd Gurley, Superman into the end zone. Doesn't need any, any additional plays. Walk straight into the end zone, leaving Dottomus for five seconds. That's great clock management. Had a couple fourth downs that he had to convert. That's how you manage the clock. When you haven't got a stop yet, use the clock to get you your first stop. Now he's in great position. As long as he makes sure Dottomus doesn't get any points left for this five seconds, Dottomus gets the ball at half, he's still going to have the lead up seven. I mean, I, like I mean, I like this. you know, we joke about no defense. There wasn't any. Nobody has gotten a stop here in the first half. There's that big fourth and 17 picked up and then too easy for Todd Gurley. Five seconds for Dottomus. Does he have a play to score in five seconds? We'll find out. Was the 25 yard line. Richardson back to pass. Corner blitz gets there. Down goes Richardson, and there are zeros on the clock. An offensive first half user, not offensive. It was offensive, high flying from both players. Both of them not looking nervous here on the big stage. Yeah, neither one of these guys, Dottam is at playing like he's been here before, but I expect nothing less than the season vet. He's played plenty, plenty of man games in his short young career that, you know, he's seems like he's ready for this moment and he's not afraid of. The kick is away, the second half kickoff. It will be a fair catch. Dottomus will start the second half with the ball. We've got 10 minutes of gameplay left. And it's a one-score game. Everybody scored on all their drives. So efficient offense is 21-14. Abram on top. An opportunity for both players to take a deep breath, take stock, and maybe find a stop out there. Are you watching this and you're like, hey, I, I want to compete? Or maybe you're sitting there and you know that you're close to getting into the Madden Bowl, but you need some more points. Well, I got some news. We've only got one opportunity left to earn points towards the Madden Bowl, and it is the playoff challenge. Register now. $125,000 prize pool, belt online, all important, maddenchampionship.com. Those MCS points, we might be breaking those down. So stay tuned for that, where everybody is standing. Got to register before December 11th at 6 p.m. Eastern to compete. One thing you don't have to compete for is these Twitch drops because you can earn that 91 overall free safety Mike Evans just by watching the Zero Chill Challenge broadcast here on Twitch. If you're watching elsewhere, come on over to Twitch, tune in, and get that drop free item in the game. It's a 91 overall out of position Mike Evans that was designed by Harvest Challenge champion Kobo and, of course, the standard drop packs just for hanging out with us. So some free items for watching some competitive Madden, and this Mike Evans is really, really good, especially as we... Reveal that zero chill. He's going to fit right in on your zero chill team. What a first half we've had here in our semifinal matchup to break it down. Let's throw it over to six foot user and not six foot cleft. That's right. Six foot oh. in the building. So, but we, but we, but we agreed early. Five nine. It's five, five nine. Foot, listen, Nick Chad five, is five nine. You were five Chad eight. Five, ten. He's Chad not five, five ten. He ten, told ten, you he's five Chad nine. Five, you cannot make the man tall. Chad is five, no, Chad, you really? cannot take five ten. You Chad cannot five, take ten, five ten. <laughs> no. He got measured a long time ago. No, man. man, man listen, Tori said I was six foot. Forget what Ryan Hollis saying. He said you were short six foot, though. Donovan said I'm a tall five nine. He said you're tall five nine. This is crazy, man. He said you're tall five eight. He said five nine. You listen, man. Hey, incredible first half. Both of these guys, offensive, high-powered, no one getting close to. Well, Abram got close a couple times, and Dottomus got close one time with a stop. You see these guys, they seem to be real comfortable with their offense out there. What are you seeing right now? Yeah, I would say they both are. They, they getting each other to fourth down, but you got to get off the field. You know, we haven't seen these guys get off the field on fourth down, especially on something like a fourth and 17. You got to get off the field in these MCS games. What Abram is doing, you can see kind of his experience coming into play, man. Right there, he scored with five seconds mm -hmm. left in the first half. Great clock management. You know, management. the clock management, especially in a game where defense is lacking. Yeah. To have clock management and give your opponent no time, it's a win. Even though Donovan is playing, he's playing a good game. Yeah, and but if you can't get a stop, what better way use the clock as an advantage yeah. to get a stop on the field? Let's take a look at this play real quick. We're going to go one of these fourth down plays right here. This is fourth and seven. And we're looking at Dottomus on offense. Now, he told you, we told you before, he wanted to use Edron James. Edron James coming out on the backfield as a streak. Abram is over here playing 
with Ray Lewis on the line. Now, it looks like everything is covered. Nothing is open. And this is great user by Abram because he's trying to bait and cover that crosser just a second as he's going to come down on the in route to the inside. And Edrin James looks like he's going to be in a bag right here. And as you see, he has no choice but to try to put this ball right here in coverage in between three people. And that's nothing but gift wrap and set feet lead right there, Clef coming up with a big with a big fourth and seven conversion. How much do you need players like that to win a championship? Oh, you absolutely need it because you get stopped right there. He ended up going to get a touchdown that drive, you know, instead of getting stopped. So that's a that's a big play. And that's just sometimes better offense is better than good defense. Great adjustments by Abram to man that up to expect the running back streak. But just great patience and set feet lead with a high ball to fit that pass center. That was just that was that was beautiful. And that's what you talked about before how important gift wrap is because you said if you don't have gift wrap, you're not completing that high ball right Oh, you're there. not completing that. And you're probably not even catching that either. And if you don't have set feet, that ball gets knocked down. Yeah. Safety gets there, he might pick it up. There's no way you can fit that in there. And that's how important it is the new Jalen Hurts, he's going to have set feet lead and gift wrap for zero AP. So you have to think about that when you're building your squad. Now we're going to take another look at another big fourth down conversion. This time on the other end, Abram facing a fourth and 17 and Dottimus trying to come up with the stop right here. Clef, how important is it to get off the field? What do you dial up right here in this These situation? These are games. These, this right here plays like this. They lose you games and they haunt you forever. It's fourth and 17. You got to get off the field. It's gun bunch open offset. You don't see this lot, but you know vertical's coming. You know, he mans up, he does a good, he mans up one person, but it's the wrong guy. He mans up the crosser instead of manning up Jimmy Graham right here. And he got this hook way down here doing nothing on fourth and 17. You know, you got to use those zone drops to your advantage. Get this hook deep, have it at 20, 25 yards. And right here, this is a great job by Abram going through his progressions, making a read. This is a wheel route. This is vertical. This is everybody's favorite play on third and long and fourth and long is a quick snap this play right here. Verticals has been a staple in bunch. And as you see, fourth and 17, go back to Old Faithful, a zone beater. And you're looking at the running back. He has to kind of play him because guess what? The running back is completely, completely naked. So he has no choice but to take his user over there. And then Abram throws a beam right to Jimmy Graham up the seam. And that's what happens because vertical is a quick snap play. You're trying to man up guys. You're trying to make the adjustments. I'm pretty sure he did not want to have that five yard hook right there. He wanted to try to man up, make that pass a little bit more difficult on the tight end. But because verticals, all you had to do was put the running back on the wheel and snap the ball. Sometimes you just need to snap the ball and try to get the ball out as fast as you can. And you see Abram catching him off guard on a fourth and 17. Big fourth down conversion right there, Clef. Yeah, and, and like I said, those are plays that Dottimus after this game, win or lose, you can't. You can't have those mistakes. Not on fourth and 17. You know, the game has changed if you get a stop and you get the ball in his territory. And like you said, sometimes on fourth down, you got to come out and snap stuff. People get more the most creative on defense with their adjustments. They do. On money down, third and fourth down. So sometimes, like you said, you just come out here, snap something, you're going to catch them off guard. You might catch them on a D lineman, a defensive tackle, yeah. and you get a free first down just like you saw right there. What is your gut telling you? Second half, nobody has got to stop. Abram using the clock right there. But they manage it great at the end of the half to still go in up seven. What is your gut telling you right now? It's, they tell me Abram going to win this game, and it's not like it's because Abram going to get a stop. It's the fact that, you know, the way he clocked and managed that situation, now he's up a possession. Mm -hmm. You know, so Donovan is going to have to get a stop. And, and it's real. it's been really hard for him so far. They, neither one of these guys have gotten a stop. This game could come down to who has ball last and the way it's set up. You know, Abram can make sure he has ball last. Yeah, and you know, Abram has faced two fourth downs. Dottimus has faced three fourth downs. Their defense is playing pretty solid on both ends of the field, but neither one of those guys able to get a big stop. We will see what happens in the second half of our semifinal matchup. Back to Nick in the booth. Appreciate it, gentlemen. I think it's time for a giveaway. And look at that Calvin Johnson, out of position cornerback. The boys here at the desk said it might be the best one of the day. Let's give them away to a lucky viewer. The first giveaway of the night, Megatron at cornerback is going to Convex Joey. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, a merry merry, Santa is here! A special delivery from Santa, wow. I mean, user, you can see it. Santa's there, I'm right here, so, you know. How is that possible? Isn't that crazy? That's How is that I, possible? That's crazy. Okay, I apologize, maybe I was wrong. Thank you. Maybe I was wrong. Appreciate I you, St. Nick. 
It's giving me Martin and Shanene vibes, man. And that's what that's what St. Nick giving away. Yeah. <laughs> what are you giving away? Yeah, okay, yeah, I believe in him. You believe in him now? I believe in him now. Yeah, Convex Joey definitely is a believer. Can I win this one? It was Convex Joey. Oh, man. But, you know, oh, we got I'm... more giveaways coming, okay. so okay. make sure you're in the chat. Make sure you're active. Okay, I'm going to have to make a few more accounts, man. I only got, like, 10. Yeah, it was weird. I was walking, looking through the chat. I saw Clef the God. I said Glef the Cod, which was a yeah. fish account. That was kind of weird. Mm. I saw not Clef the God, which isn't you, because it said not. I think it's fan page. Uh, and I saw uh, five foot ten Clef. That's see that. And we we know that's me. That's right. real. That's me. That's real. That's all net. Second and ten. Richardson back to passes. Dottomus goes to work here in the second half. As uh, Edron James picks up a couple underneath. Six to third and four. And if you Dottomus right here, you want to, you really want to, now you got to speed this game up. You know, you don't want to be on defense and give Abram a chance to get this ball last. You really want to score right here as fast as possible. You don't want one of them long drives right here. Bunch to the left side. Solo receiver to the right side. James on the right hip. Up Anthony Richardson. Smith, Hollins, and Mackey in the bunch. As Richardson rolling right at the 20-yard line. Throws it late. Mm. And another inaccurate pass. 8 of 14 passing the ball and a fourth and four. Another fourth down right here for Dottomus. Can he convert again? And his pocket is killing him right now. Just stepping out the pocket for no reason. It's he's, no rolling, he's rolling unnecessarily. He's rolling unnecessarily. You're going to get a lot of inaccuracy like that. you got to sit in his pocket. Is that a little bit of nerves maybe? I mean, first big event. I think he's seeing more pressure. Happy feet. Yeah. yeah, I think he got happy feet and he think his pressure there and it's really not. Right. And where does he go? Right to Edron James up the seam once again. Usually that one was a dot. High ball to the running back. Obviously, he told us before how important Edron James was. And you got to realize, like, for him not to choose Doc, Todd Gurley as his running back, easily could have been 97 speed out there on the field, the best running back on the game. He says, I'm going to go with Old Faithful to get me here, Edron James, because Edron, game, Edron James is going to have a big impact on this game. At the time, there was pressure. He throws late. He finds Carter. That one's going to be knocked out. And we see Abram, the first player to make adjustments, man. We see him start off in that dime. He went to this dollar right here and, and, and got out of dime, and, which he he was getting the third and fourth downs. He just wasn't getting off the field. Richardson back to pass. Stepping left, throwing right. He's got Edron James once again, and he holds on through the big hit, a first down to the 19-yard line. Anthony Richardson throwing lasers right now. And, you know, we got somebody who's he's got a little bit on the line here. As Tory waiting in the playoffs. Now, he cannot see this game. Competitive fairness, he's not watching this game. So he has no idea what's going on out here. So we're going to catch up with him after the game. Uh, but, you know, you got to think that's kind of, uh, Clef, that's got to be a, a weird moment for you. Sit in that player's lounge, none of the TV's on, just listen to music, trying to stay in the zone while these guys play a semifinal. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely weird in this uncharted territory because usually you'd be able to watch and you'd be able to get some keys on who you're playing against. So it's definitely different because he's going to come out here and he's going to be at the same advantage as, as the other player. You know, they don't really know what he's doing, and he's not going to know what, what they're doing as well. And Abram uses his first time out in the second half. That's a precious time out. We're going to see if that comes back to bite him. And, you know, I've been watching the running back streak. Oh, oh he that's got him. That's Devontae Smith. Tight coverage, beautiful throw from Richardson. And he's an extra point away from tying this up, user. Yeah, and we've been watching Dottomis throw that streak to the running back, like one or two steps behind a defender. I feel like if he doesn't have set feet lead, there's no way he's there. completing that. Yeah, he can't complete that. And if he don't have gift wrap, you can't high pass that. You know, you can't high pass that comfortably. You know, so just him having that combination, it just allows him to throw something that if you don't have set feet and you don't have gift wrap, you will never, you, you can't throw it with confidence. He's throwing this every time, just like that last streak. That was a high pass. It, as well. That's his safety blanket. His safety blanket's a 20 yard streak route, it's not a fly route. It's right up the seam. Look at this throw one more time to Devontae Smith. Just a little bit of separation, Clef, but able to fit that in there. And you said, didn't want to see a quick drive. Well, scored in two and a half minutes. Yeah, and that, that's perfect for him. Don't don't go down the field and waste all this time, and now you got to play perfect. This right here gives him more opportunity, you know, to, to win this game. A stretch run left side, Todd Gurley. Mm. Juke move inside. Oh, His man. own player was the best defender on that. Good job. That's John Madden with the tackle right there. Oh, oh, sad. First and 10 from the 38-yard line. I'm going to just go back to the ground. Nope, we're going to RPO out to the right side. It's Jerry Rice to the 47-yard line. Pass midfield already goes Abram. And this RPO is just get, it's giving Dottomus problems right now. And, it, and it's because Abram doing a great job of coming out here and keeping him off balance. Like, you never know when he's snapping the ball out of gun bunch strong offset. 
Ayuk off the bubble screen. So we saw Abram first drive. It was very vertical working with down the field. Now, Clef, we're seeing more of those RPOs getting the run game involved. An interesting shift from that very first drive. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting, and it's it's to keep him off balance. You know, it's to keep him off balance. As you can see, that last play, Dottimus moved this play right here. Dottimus moved out his linebacker. You know, so it's doing a great job of of making Dottimus adjust strictly to the RPO. Otto Graham back in the shotgun. Georgia Bulldog Todd Gurley motions out to the right side, emptying the backfield. Ayuk and Moss on the left side. Graham and Rice on the right side. And he'll find Jimmy Graham underneath, picking up the first down, fighting through some tackles to the 30-yard line. Right there, just taking what Dottomus is giving, takes the drag up underneath, keeps the drive going. I still can't get over how nice that uh, that Dottomus logo is. A little, I get James Bond vibes from mm -hmm. the from the circle, little top hat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of tough. It is. And Abram want to be careful right there. He's he taking a lot of hits right now inbounds, like a lot of hits. The worst thing you want to do is getting them animations where they got you held up because, you know, a fumble is coming. They can take it to the strip club. Yeah, it is, it is coming. Graham, right side, Todd Gurley. First down and more. Jukes back to the middle, breaks a tackle, and breaking hearts to the end zone. Todd Gurley can't be serious. And we talked about that, Gurley, how much of an impact, arguably, he is the best offensive best player offense. out right now. What is it, 96 overall, 95 overall? His overall, his speed can go all the way up to 97 with the double, double theme team Kims. Then he can get any team Kim mm -hmm. on top of that. So Abram showing you, you need to have Abram, uh, you need to have Gurley on your squad. Yeah, any player that can be three speed faster than anybody on defense, you know, you really at a disadvantage if you don't have them on your team. Think of this one more time. Beautiful stick where he finds Gurley all the way almost to the sideline. Juke moved back inside, and it's one broken tackle animation user. That's what makes him so dangerous. Is if your guy misses a tackle with that speed, he's making a house call. And that looked like Mike Evans, the new zero chill. Mm. Designed by Kobo. Looking he deep worked. down the field, looking for Mackey, feet and hey, bounds. Catch is made at the 38. Wow. Clef right there, as you see, you know, maybe this is a question for the Dev K Spade. But the KO. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He just, he just like, you know, he's like sitting on a couch and he's like, I'm going to tune in. I want to get my drops. I love the MCS. Just, These guys why click, you, cut scene, see ya. Why you ask me, man? Why you got to throw me in there with you, I mean, because I mean, be, between y'all two guys, I figure I could get an answer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right there, that KO ability lit up on the sideline, and but it was still called a completion. Ooh. You know, I just figured user would probably ask somebody in Orlando while he's making the power rankings. Like he might ask somebody whoa, in the cubicle whoa, next to him. But that's the cubicle next to him be like, "Hey, I got a question for you." See, that's the problem, Nick. You always feel you got to come defend somebody. I didn't throw you up under the bus. And right side for Mac. Oh, Collins. that could have been a dangerous hook. throw. And he had to tighten it up the seam yeah. quick. I don't, I'm not sure why, why he didn't throw that. Third and 10. Mm. 431 to go in the ball game. This is where it gets dangerous. If, if Donovan scores here, Abram might be able to use the entire fourth quarter with that RPO and running the ball as effectively as he is. But first, that's got to pick up 10 yards. Richardson, quick throw oh. the seam and SWAT animation in the middle. That was a beamer. Fourth down. What do you do here? You got to well, go. We, we know a running back is going to be on the street. Right? Yeah, running back going to be on the street. You got to go for this. You have no choice but to go Are you telling this. me Todd Gurley might be, might be streaking down the field? Yeah, Edron James is going to be streaking Edge. down the field. Who's going to be down the field? High ball, streak. You got to watch it. Possibly go right back to the same play. Yeah. And the question is, is he going to have him manned up this time or is he going to blitz him? He luckily, oh, he blitzed him again. Blitzed him, it's picked up. He oh, right come on. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. He had to oh, tie it he, in. He, had he did. Oh, in. sometimes oh, you overthink it. He had it. Oh, he went back to the same play, and the same guy was open. Tight end was he, wide open. He, was, he just yeah. he got spooked. He got spooked because the previous play got knocked down. Well, he gives Abram a shorter field, and I think we're going to get a steady, steady dose of 21 here. I think Todd Gurley's probably going to be involved quite a bit. Right up the middle goes Gurley. Not a lot of room there. Actually, pretty good run defense, only getting three. You know, and both these guys chose to go back to the same play, you know, offense and defensive-wise. And he had the tight end once again, second-guessed it. Like you said, I don't know whether he got spooked or not, but you got the gifts wrapped. You got to throw that in there. There isn't any kind of KO on his user. That's a beamer. You got to test Abram right there and throw it to that tight end. You got to, if you got him, it's right here. Coverage ain't an option. 
You know, the worst thing you can do is just sit here and let somebody, what he's doing right now, getting, getting a few yards mm -hmm. here. You'd rather him score quick and give yourself self a chance. He got to blitz him here and get crazy with his adjustments to try to get a stop or give him a touchdown quick. Because you know the first down, he's going to be running the ball, whether it's a bubble screen, inside zone or whatever. He's going to be handing that ball off to make sure he's burning some clock. Yeah, because right here, he's in field goal range. You know, so he's going to be real conservative right here. You need him to lose yards. Graham in the shotgun. Stepping back, pressure from the left side. Ooh. Defense finally, that's the first time we've really seen pressure from Dodimus. Yeah, and Abram fortunate right there because if he was throwing it to that running back on the street, that was about to be an interception. Here we go, third and 11. We're under three to go in the fourth quarter in our semifinal matchup. Torrey waiting in the wings. Bunch over to the left side, solo receiver to the right side. Graham back to pass, pressure right side. Just gets rid of it. Jimmy Graham with the catch. It's going to be fourth and one. And the biggest play of the game coming up, and I have a feeling the kicker's not coming on the field. I, I, He's staying on the sidelines. It looked like he kicking it. it, it In this like situation, what do you really? do? I, I think you kick it as well. You know, really? I think you kick it because you make is it Is this because your defense has been playing well, or is this? You got to stop. He's going to have to play perfect to win this game from this point. You got to stop. 10 with two minutes left. Like, I think if you, if you don't get this, you can lose the game here. You know, yeah. you can definitely lose the I, game here. He still wouldn't win the game I'm by getting I'm surprised because he's got his timeouts left. Like, I'm surprised you don't on fourth and one. If you can't pick up a, a yard, and by the way, you've been mm. running the RPOs, you've been running the ball effectively, you got to get one yard. All it takes is one shit. Yeah. One shit, th cost I, you I that. You go up 10 here, and if he scores, he still hasn't shown the ability to stop you three plays in a row. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I think you... You go up 10 here. If he scores, so what? You get the ball back and go get a first yeah, down. We two. didn't see a single RPO, by the way, on that on that drive. It was all straight runs and straight passes. And you know, right there, I think that's a smart play by Abram. A lot of people would have tried to go for the dagger. But so much time, so little bit of time left in the game, Dottomus is going to have to burn some time. First and 10, up the seam. Oh, oh, my. Swat away. On, a dangerous that's throw. That's, big game. that's that Come zero on. chill Mike Evans. Can earn that just for watching the, the game today. And by the way, if you're having trouble, if you don't know how to connect your EA and Twitch accounts, scan that QR code. It'll teach you everything you need to know, and you'll be on your way to earning that Mike Evans, which, and by the way, the free Twitch drop items we've been giving out. Ooh, they, that's a book. Ooh, they have been so good. Is, bro. You, please usually, there have been enough like, almost please, books. This please, is an almost please, library. Please. Mm hmm Almost. And I, Donovan is just missing his streak. His streak on the on the left side, away from the bunch, is to so the solo receiver side is wild. We gotta take a deep breath. Back. We gotta we gotta settle down for a second. Yeah. Goes to trips. Goes oh, to the wheel. A, wow. And it's knocked out. Fourth and ten. Fourth in the ball game. And right here, I think he's just trying to get it all back at once. You got enough time. You got enough time. You got three timeouts and all side kicks. They are good on this game. You know, you don't have to rush necessarily right here and press like he's pressing. We go fourth down. Edron James goes to the left side. Empty backfield for Anthony Richardson, trying to keep his tournament alive. Richardson back to pass. Corner blitz picked up nicely. He's got Mackey up the seam. It's a first down. That's the seam he missed on the last drive. Yeah, he got to think about right here. Do I want to get a first down and kick three and give myself time to get this ball back? Don't get lazy. He's looking over the top. Oh, but he might put too much air. KO. KO going crazy over there. Oh, again, another almost catch there. Yeah, that's that universe, universal coverage X factor. He, he's lit up because he's knocked the ball out so many times, forced so many incompletions. Richardson. Stepping right. Defense. Throw this away. Really good defense from Abram. Look like he might have had to run it back late, but just too much pressure to be able to set his feet. He, he's doing a great job of forcing him outside the pocket. You can see him sending his blitz off the left, so Dodimus isn't comfortable just sitting here in the pocket. He's bailing to the right every time. Oh, that's a book. Ooh, that's picked off. And that might seal a spot in the final for Abram. Allen with the interception. He'll step out of bounds. <sighs> and a deep sigh from Dodimus because he knows this game might be wrapped up like a present. And you know, that's a deep sigh for a lot of people. Cleft the guy, D. Croft, who's over here looking at the point spread for the Madden Bowl. And you're thinking, you know, I just don't need Dodimus adding any more points. Yeah, yeah, you definitely root for Abram to, to win this because Abram is already ahead of me, D. Croft, and the people behind us that you want. Whoever ahead of you, just go ahead and keep getting points, man. Go ahead and keep getting points. I'm out taking clock stopped. Otto Graham throwing it. Takes a hit. Free stopping of the clock right there, third and ten. Yeah, now if you Abram, why do you pass this ever? You know, it is, just, just run the ball. Hit and, the and timeouts. Get out, yeah, get out of this game. You know, don't, don't save him no timeouts. Third and ten. Looks like he's, he might be passing the ball again here. 
Offset bunch to the right side. Solo receiver Ayuk on the left side. Otto Graham back to work. Pressure from the left. Mm. He'll take the sack. Smart play there to at least keep the clock running. Use one of those timeouts. Still with a 10-point lead, and he will for the, I mean, might only be the second or third time this year. We're going to see the punter. Yeah, and, and that that contributes. That's how you know he, the onside kick is in his head. You know, it's in his head. He's thinking about, oh, if Dottoman score right here, I, nobody wants to see an onside kick this year. Mm -hmm. That's the scariest position to be, having to rely on recovering one when you own the receiving team. The Madden 24, zero chill challenge belt. Somebody's taking that home in, oh, about an hour and 15 minutes. Throw it up to Hollins. PA. Oh, oh mm. Hollins yeah. caught. Mm. Okay. And that's what, you have, that's what happens when you have your gifts wrapped. Relax. You get blessed. Yeah, you're going to catch that. You were going to catch that. The little double doink off the helmet, and Hollins says, thank you very much. Richardson, pressure. Good blitz. That A gap able to get home instead of a second and 10. Yeah, and this is one of those times, you know, Abram brought a, a new defense that we haven't really seen. This Dom shifting to the left and crashing left and getting that pressure off that left side. Mm. You already know, know what I'm here. I, I think you have to take three here. I think you take three right here and give yourself an opportunity. Maybe one shot at the end zone and, and take three. This your new defense user? Oh, for sure. Go right up the <laughs> seam. Mackey makes the catch and gets down to the five, we'll call it the six yard line. Clock now down under 30 seconds. Richardson. And timeout taken. Smart play That's by Abram right there. Let him burn his timeout right till he's about to snap the ball. A lot of people would have burned that timeout early. Abram letting him run as much time off as he can and then say, hold on, let me get ready right here to try to get this red zone stop. No timeouts for Donimus. Trips action, he drops back to pass, throws to the mm. running back. And he can't come up with the catch and tight coverage. 17 to 35, man. Seeing a 50% completion percentage. Hey, Donovan's got to be looking at it like, man, I got to just be a little better with my passing game. Yeah, it's been a lot of throwaways, a lot of bad pocket. Mm, dangerous throw, but he cuts in front with Mackey and a touchdown for Dot. And now we get to see the John B. special, the terrifying onside kick. It's, it's the scariest thing in Madden. You don't know what, this, this is why Abram was passing, because he wanted to just end the game, because you don't want to be in this position. You just don't. Do we have another miracle on tap, this time from the Zero Chill Challenge? Grammatica, high bounce. Pick it up. Balls out. Pick it up. It's still there. Pick it it's up. It's still oh. there. It's picked oh up by oh Abram. My oh my God. Oh my. God. Oh, oh my God, man! Pick that, you, me, <laughs> <laughs> the three of us up here had an opportunity to recover oh, man, that one. Oh my goodness! The roly poly. How did oh, it? Oh my goodness, oh, man! That it, dude, that's so scary. What was that? Oh my God! I need God. to shot I need to see the guy. He was that ball was rolling around, man. <laughs> Abram, your thoughts on onside kicks? Are they fun? You having fun over there with onside kicks? Good Lord, what a game between these two competitors. Abram able to get the victory over Dottimus. Uh, a wild, the wildest play might have been that last one. But at the end of the day, Abram, his second Final Four, his second live event, and he's got a chance at his first belt. Yeah, got a chance at his first belt, man. And just, just a, he got to be feeling good, man. He played a real good game. Offensively, he was stellar. Offensively, he was great. And, and defensively, he played a good game. He had, like, he made Dottimus uncomfortable in the pocket and made him, like, bail out the pocket a lot of times with that new blitz. You know, anytime you bring out something to a tournament somebody hasn't played before, you definitely give yourself a, a huge advantage. We had no stops in the first half, three stops in the second half, and it was Abram with just that slight edge. But, man, you watch Dottimus play, certainly somebody we're going to see a lot as we move forward able to get into a live event once you do that one time it feels like your confidence goes up threefold yeah your confidence it, it tells you hey i can do this i can compete at the highest level with the best players in the world and he'll learn from this game you know like i said that fourth and 17 play it's one or two plays in the mcs game that really changes the whole game you know so i think he'll definitely learn from this and he'll, he'll be, uh, bounce back strong all right 31 28 our final and now we get to tell tory he didn't get to watch the game our own one great user is in the player's lounge to tell Tori his fate for the finals here at the Zero Chill Channel.
Tory, you know, unprecedented situation right here. You wasn't able to watch that game. And we talked earlier, earlier you felt like that Dottimus was gonna get the, the job done. And that was just your gut feeling. Now, I, I wanna know, who do you think won that game? Uh, I would say Dottie. You think Dottimus won that, that game? Was my first well, time. let me tell you, you know, it's good that you feel that way because maybe you're Nostradamus or something. <laughs> Cause you're wrong. I'm wrong. You're wrong. Abram sat right there and told you oh, he was gonna man. get the job done. He got the job done. That's your next matchup. It was a hell of a game. Dodman's bout got an onside, but he wasn't able to get it. He loses by three. You have to play Abram in a championship. You wasn't able to see what he ran. Right. I'm gonna tell you right now. You would have wished you, you would have wished you <laughs> saw because he probably running something that you didn't think he's gonna run. How do you feel right now? Finding out that you're playing Abram and you wasn't able to play that game, what's going through your mind? I'm confident, man. I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in my scheme. Uh, I feel like going into this game is really just me versus me. You know what I mean? If I execute my game plan, if I get my scheme down right, I should be fine in the end. And you know, a lot of people, they don't, this is their first time seeing Tory. What can they expect from your game? We saw Abram. You know Abram. He's a meta guy. Yep. They want to know what type of offense that Tory is going to bring out here. I would just say, I'm versatile. I'm versatile on offense. I'm versatile on defense. You know, I run a lot of different things. So you're going to see a, a little bit of bunch, a little bit of trick. Just me moving around, showing you some plays you've probably never seen before. And, you know, Abram able to pull the job out and get it done. Both you guys was in here early today, you know, chatting it up. It seemed like neither one of you guys was nervous. You know, this is your first time being on a live event. He's saying, hey, you're going to get nervous on that stage. <laughs> what is, what's going to be the things that you feel that's going to keep you level, calm head, and just make this moment not too big for you? I'm sure I'll be fine, man. Like, this is the fun part. You know, the hard part is the preparation, figuring out what scheme you're going to run, what lineup you're going to run with. But I feel like now it's fun. It's time to get out there and perform and execute. So I'm just going to be out there and just be myself. Well, listen, have a lot of fun, not trying to put pressure on it, but understand this is the zero chill Madden Challenge Championship that you're about <laughs> to suit up and play Abram for your first chance to win a belt. Good luck, and we're going to throw it back to Nick and Clef the God over there in the booth. Clef, let's take a look at the highlights from this game. Let's start off an electrifying touchdown of that RPO with Jerry Rice. Yeah, that RPO was really good. Abram did a good job of quick snapping that and, and really surprising Dottimus. He couldn't even adjust for it. How about this throw? Just over the top, Edrin James, tight window throw, and he finishes it off with a – this was an, an offensive first half. Yeah, offense, offense, offense. You know, nobody could really get a stop. And even if they got the fourth down, you see right here, they could not get off the field ever. And you can see Abram go ahead and, and score a touchdown on that drive, which I think changed the whole game. 21-14 at the half. Once again, Edron James on that streak, getting Dottie a first down. We didn't know which way this game was going to go, Clef. This was back and forth. Abram found a great touchdown to Devontae Smith. But from this point on, it was all Abram. Yeah, Abram just, he did a great job of just making Dottimus uncomfortable. And you can see right here, just taking Ooh. what he's giving. Excuse taking me. what he's giving, getting sticky in open field, using that juke move to go ahead and go up seven points. 28-21. We got to a 31-21. Looking over the top, Chris Carter can't make the catch. A 10-point lead for Abram. And, and Dottimus is looking for anything at this point, and Allen with the interception. And that basically sealed it, even though... It wasn't quite over yet. We had a late touchdown from Dottie, and then just talk me through your heart rate at, at this onside kick. You weren't even involved, and we were all holding our breath. I mean, this this right here is just this this is crazy right here. Just the just look how much that ball rolling around, man. We was all here scared. We scared for him. We scared for both players. You know that's heartbreak on both sides to just feel that and just watch that. You know they heart had to be racing a million miles per hour, and it had to go by slow. You know how that long that ball was probably on the ground for us. Far too long. Felt like 10 minutes. About, 10 about minutes. A year and a half. <laughs> 31 28. We have our finalists here at the table at Abram. Abram, congrats, man. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can talk about, but man, what, what was that about 40 minutes where that ball's rolling around on the ground? What what was that like? Oh, my heart. Like, it's just, it's already beating fast. And then I just want somebody to pick up the ball and it kept <laughs> rolling. Like, <laughs> oh my, I thought I was about to just get like, I thought, like, you were looking for the, the fluke was coming. I mean, yeah, look at this. Like, it, first of all, you initially Moss catches it, then drops it. He gets a couple cracks, you get a couple cracks. I don't know what 21 was doing. That Todd Gurley didn't even attempt to go and get the ball. He made a business decision like Cam Newton back in like 2018. I will not be recovering this. Right, I don't know. Uh, my, my players, I guess they didn't have the heart. They didn't want to pick up the ball, but most of <laughs> them end up saving me. So. 
So I was, I was thankful. Talk to me a little bit about this game. Able to get a win. You're now one win away from the belt. Talk to me just a little bit about the nerves this time compared to the last time you were here just two months ago. Did you feel like you were less nervous this time around, maybe a little more prepared, or was it kind of the same feeling? Yeah, I was way more prepared this tournament and definitely, like, less nervous. It felt like, like I was playing at home this time, whereas last time I was, like, kind of, like, shaking and stuff. But, like, now I feel like I'm, like, I got the feel for it. And like I'm real comfortable here, and I feel like I could, uh, I could just keep, you know, just keep balling like how I usually do. And, and you know, it's funny how you talk about comfortable. You know, we was in the players' now er early, and Tori was over there chirping at you. Hey, man, I think Dottimus is gonna take care of you. I don't mm -hmm. think you're really ready for this moment. I think you're still nervous and still shook. And you know, I obviously seen all these moves before behind the scenes. I've seen players try to get other players shook. How can I get them rattled? Because let's be honest, Tori wanted to play Dottoms. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You know how it is, Slim. I don't really want to play him. Let me see if oh, I can yeah. kind of nudge him a little bit, see if I can kind of rattle him. And you know, the whole time I was admiring you, even though you're a young guy, you wasn't getting shook or flustered by Tori over there capping. You was like, okay, don't worry. You're going to see. You're going to see that I am prepared. Last time you talked about it, how the patch came out, and you wasn't really prepared defensive-wise. You brought a defense out here. Clef touched on it that we have not seen. Your defense looked pretty good. You kind of left it one time, then you went back to it and trusted it, and you was able to come up with those stops. Now you have Tory in front of you. How do you feel with that matchup? Uh, well, I never played him before, but I know how you play, and it's uh... Like playing him, you, you really don't even know what to, like, you don't know how to prepare for him until you play him. Like, you got to figure it out mid-game type thing, so he's a real hard player to beat. But I feel like if I could definitely just adjust to, you know, all of this audible the rounds and, you know, like, just try to, like, not let his his offense, like, overwhelm me, then I feel like I could beat him. And, you know, you said, you know, that's one thing Tory touched on. Remember, this is single elimination. You got one chance. So you really don't get a chance to see what he's gonna run. How, are, how much are you thinking about that in the back of your head? Like, I can't really waste much time because I need to adjust quickly to running something that I'm not used to seeing. All right, uh, I don't even, I, I just feel like I gotta just, like, just freestyle versus him, just like, I'm gonna try to pick up on his tendencies because like, I don't know none of them. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I could just figure out like his, you know, his like, favorite third down play, fourth down play, I could probably just, Oh, get, get some stops and win the game. And, and talk to me, like, I just want to know, where did you get your play style from? Because I think it's unique the way you play. You know, nobody really play like you. It's hard to prepare right. for Bears, let alone Bears audibling from bunch strong to bunch open to tight slots and everything you do. Like, where did you yeah. come up with that from? Um, mainly, I, I know this year I wanted to run tight slots. Like, at the beginning, I ran tight slots. And then Bengals, it was, um, I feel like Bears have more, like, variety than Bengals. So I decided to go with the Bears and... Basically, I just, I lab a lot versus meta defenses. So, like, I'm really good versus, you know, like, 6-1, dollar, like, all that. So, like, I got counters versus everything. So, and I found, like, I'm real comfortable in that Bears playbook. I got, like, money plays at, like, every form in there. So, it's, like, it's real high-powered and hard to stop. Well, man, you are one win away from a belt, $30,000, and some more of those all-important MCS points qualifying for the Madden Bowl. Did a big job today. Got your first win on the live stage, so congratulations. Thank Go you. get ready for that game for against sure. Tori. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch that final. Folks, it's the season of giving. So, uh, Jolly Old St. Nick was with us early. We gave away that Calvin Johnson. I got yelled at by user and cleft that I didn't give it to them, but it wasn't me. It was St. Nick giving it away. So, why don't we do a couple more giveaways? We'll start with TJ Watt, one of the best pass rushers in the game. We're going to Dogs Are Great 1040. I could not agree more. Dogs Are Great 1040, congratulations. You are taking home. We'll be in touch shortly in your whispers. Next up, how about we give away Mr. Shannon Sharp. <clears throat> Broncos legend, he's got that Ravens chem as well. It's gonna be delivered to none other than Slark329. Not Stark, that's Slark. Slark329. Guys and gals, stay active in the chat. Let us know who you're rooting for in the final. More giveaways to come as we get set for the final of the Zero Chill Challenge. And don't forget, if you're still looking to get some MCS points, if you just want a chance to compete for that, that prize pool where you can take home that $30,000 top prize, make sure you sign up now. Ladder is the 18th and 19th. That's coming up. Oh, right, right now? It's, it's just in a couple days with brackets the following weekend, all leading to that playoff tournament 
in the new year. You're not going to want to miss out on that. So sign up today, MaddenChampionship.com. I know there are a lot of people out there looking for MCS points. This is your last opportunity to get them. There's no, there's no LCQ this year, gentlemen. It is all in this final tournament. So sign up today, MaddenChampionship.com. Speaking of those MCS points, we had, to, we had to move our way over to the big board because we got to talk a little bit about the MCS points. There's our last opportunity, gentlemen, to talk about who needs to make some moves. So let's look at the current standings because right now we can officially announce, Henry, we already announced is locked, John Beast and Kobo also mathematically locked. They will be in the Madden Bowl. Now, they're all going to be vying. All these guys are vying for that, those, uh, that top two spot, but... We also kind of feel like Dez and Drini, 2,000 points and 1,900 points. We also kind of feel like they're locked as well. But you look at the rest of this list, and man, we got a lot of people. You see Abram, he's worked his way up to 1,700 points. Tori came at just at 1,500. Fancy at 1,500. W at 1,500. Clef, I got some, I got some, right now, there's plenty of time. I'm just going to point it out because it's on the screen. We got a Leo line there. That's our cutoff. Mm. Mm. You are 50 points away from the Madden Bowl. Your thoughts looking at this leaderboard right now? The first one out. Yeah, just being the first one out, it's, it's, a, it's a negative two and a positive two. The negative two it is you don't ever want to miss be the first one out. You know, you just it just take you through everything that, that you could have done better throughout the year. Yeah. Positive wise is I'm right here. You know, I kind of control my own destiny if I do what I need to do. And let's just be honest, Mr. Football, W, Fancy, Justin, K-Mac, mm -hmm. Tori, I need y'all to lay down for me. So you're rooting for the demise of all those guys. Yeah. I need y'all to lay down for me. Internet Any problems. other day, we're friends, but... We friends. Me and Tori, we tight. You know, W, all that. But look, I need to fall asleep, man. You're, you're, you want them to get well-rested. Like, t take a couple weekends off. It's, yeah, it's the holiday time. They take work hard. Yeah. So, you need so right. are, are you saying you're wishing for Tori's downfall right here? Because Abram is above you right now with 1,700. He's not going to say it, but... A wise man once said, I can't confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look. We're going we're gonna to have some fun with this one and talk about the groups. We're going to take out those top five, okay? Because mm -hmm. we're pretty sure three of them are mathematically locked, and we got two of them that we think are, are locked, barring mathematical conundrums. So here's what you got right now. Let's start with right here. We got we to talk about it. There's your line, user. Appreciate you. So right there, 300 points. That's what you get for getting to day two. You need that one. If you get one of those buys, you're automatically getting 300 points. So let's look at our big board right now, user. You're talking about, with if you take out those top five, we got basically, what, nine spots total? Correct. For all these guys vying for it? I mean, you got, you got nine spots. What are we looking at as, you know, who, who just needs to get to day two? Who's looking at just the buy they're feeling good? Are we talking Clef and Decroft? Are we talking about down to Astro go who's going to get that if you get that buy you're sitting there going I feel good about my spot in the Madden Bowl you know you're trying to look at the guys who can actually break into that top nine spot who can actually get up here into the top nine spot you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day let me write my nine a little bit better show y'all my handwriting is better at the end of the day who can possibly leapfrog somebody you know you're looking at the guys that's in front of Clef but right now we're going to focus on the guys that's on the outside be honest when is the last time we've had a Madden Bowl and Clef the God and D. Croft wasn't there? I can't remember. It's been that long because these guys are staple in the community and somehow they get it done. And somehow, some way, I not only think that Clef gets it done and D. Croft gets it done when we look at those guys right there on the bubble because why not? They're proven veterans. Somehow, some way, I believe the dominoes will fall for them to get in position. Because if Thank those you. two guys get that bye, <laughs> they end up 300 extra points. That puts them at 1750, where TJ is right now. 1700, 1800, I think we're looking at probably in. So, Clef, you got to think, getting that buy, that's got to be the number one goal going in. It's kind of the goal all the time, but even more so with these MCS points. Oh, yeah, these leaderboards, my MCS. You know, that's my that's my single to limb, mm -hmm. really. It's that important. Like, I got to be locked. Every game is, is vital to, to getting that buy, you know. If you on the bubble like I am, or even these guys at 1250, you know, the yeah. guys who need to win this tournament, you got to get top 32. But Clef's already, you've already put two lines there, so you said Clef and Decroft's going to do it. But that means somebody in front. Who's going to drop out? He's going to have to collapse. Somebody, so who are you looking Somebody's going to have to fold. And you I know would know like to saying? point out, these are the opinions of one great user, not no, Nick no, no, and Clef, No, 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 this is the opinion of us. What? Together. Oh, oh, you can oh, oh, control on the iPad. I don't even know what you're about to say. I don't even know what you're about to say. Because when you look, who's above that bar? 
Who have we known and seen somehow, some way, they just don't get it done? And when I look at that list, there's one guy that I'm like, whoa, I'm surprised that he's there. I thought the window had closed for him. You know what I'm saying? We'll get to him in a minute. But it's just one guy when I see him like, eh, I'm going to tell you right now, somehow, some way, somehow, some way, this guy right here, fancy, that's my that guy was, to watch. That was an ambiguous line you put on there. <laughs> that, I, had to, I didn't know if it was W or fancy. I had to fix it. You know what I'm saying? You have to make sure that we know Fancy, he's always been talented, but can he get the job done and be consistent? Mm. That's always been his problem. It's never been his game. It's always been the moment for Fancy. I feel like Fancy is one of the best offensive players we have, but some reason you've seen him lose so many games that he should not have lost. And if I'm looking at the bubble, like who's going to fall out so Clef can fall in, I say Fancy right off the bat. Now look at Dubby. Dubby, phenomenal performance this year. I also made top 32. I think... He makes the bowl. Be honest, we need it. We need him in the bowl. Yeah, you're right. We, we need him. Because Dubby, he brings a different intensity. And I don't want to be out here in the bowl without Dubby. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to be out here in the bowl without Dubby. Then I look down, another guy. Who do I think? Now, Tory, I'm not too sure. I really but he's don't, got a chance today. To he got a up. chance today. He does have a chance today. I'm not going to highlight him because I, I don't really like – Speaking on something that I don't know, so I need to see his game. So when I go back to that, K-Mac is another guy who's evolved. But has he evolved yet to be that top-tier guy to get it done? I don't know. If you ask me, I'm not going to pick on Torrey, but just because I haven't seen him play. Torrey could possibly be the guy. But my next guy, if I had to think who's going to fall out, is going to be K-Mac. Not because I don't think k is good enough. I think K-Mac's game has elevated when he's playing in live events. He's really become one of those players. But... Just going off history, K Mac. And the big, the big guy that, that y'all already know that I'm putting a, a, a number beside the asterisk is Justin. The number one guy. Justin, I am surprised to see that he's here. He's always been one of those great man players, great lab partners. He's seen plenty of people win championships, like from D Croft to J Wall to make it to the finals. But he was one of those guys that helped the guys get to the finals, not the guy to be in the bowl. So question is, is he overperforming this year? I don't know. He's the only one in the in, currently in the field that has not qualified for a live. He's been so consistent qualifiers He's been so close. You got a lot of young players right after where Clef and Decroft are uh, with Goat Geezy and Tamir. Tamir's been so good this year. Mills, Astro. But I want to talk about this group at 1250, Clef. Mm -hmm. And you look at this. You got a lot of belt winners there. You got Noah up next. He's got a couple belts to his name. You got three belts to Michael Skimbo. He's in that group. Uh, and then you got guys that we know. No Mercy Lambo, great mm -hmm. finish to last year. Guy by the name of Boogs. I don't know if you've heard about him. He's a Bugatti. He needs to get at Boogs on Twitter, by the way. We need we need at Boogs we, to go to that he man. He never gets so, tape. Clef, if you're, <laughs> if you're looking at the 1250 group, who do you have your eye on as a guy to make that jump from 1250 and get into the final at the Madden Bowl? Yeah, I would say Boogs. Boogs made a final late this year. You know, he's been playing a good Madden, really, especially of late, you know, the way he plays. So I, I would say my pick would be Boogs, non biased at all, because mm. if I didn't think he was going to make it, mm -hmm. I'd be honest about it. Uh, I think I think just the way he's playing Madden right now, and he would be my pick to make it. And Nick, who, who, when you're looking at that list, who are you think? I got, I got my eye on one guy. Uh, you, you're controlling the iPad, so I'm gonna need you to put in a, a, a little line next to Mr. Michael Skimbo. He's got three, three times to his name. The three times. He still time. got it. He still got it. I watched a lot of him play. Obviously, you know we've done a lot of watch parties. I've gotten to see Skimbo play a lot. And when when the chips are down, you're talking about. You're going to tell him, you need to make this tournament to get into the Madden Bowl to compete for $250,000. There is not many people in this world that I would want competing more than Skimbo. Under pressure, when the lights are brightest, Skimbo steps up. And let's be clear, if you're playing, if you've signed up, and if you haven't yet, go to MaddenChampionship.com. If you signed up and you match up with Skimbo in ladders, in the bracket, that's one person you don't want to face. Yeah, and I'm going to be honest. When I look at this list, first off, we're going strictly off 1250. And I'm going to tell you right now. Because there are guys at that three. Yeah. You got Donovan, you got, he's going to say that 13. I'm a, Kevin Pavin, of course. To, when I look at the list, I, you'll be crazy not to pick the all-time live event tied Mr. Kiver. Yeah. Crazy. We're not, we'll, we'll never, you got to respect him. Last year, made it to the finals. Can he bounce back from that epic loss? We don't know. We'll see. But if I'm taking a look at the bottom from the guys from the 1250, 
You know, it might be coming surprise to a lot of people. He had some extra motivation this year from a couple people, maybe a God, maybe. This guy right here, Goose Guy. Goose Guy being in the 1250, I've seen him dominate. He's won some FNFs, and I've well, seen him. Great energy. Great energy, and he's not afraid of the moment. When he has. He's not afraid of anything, I yeah, think. Yeah, when you have seasoned veterans talking crazy, capping at you, saying, you're washed, you'll never be nothing. I've seen him step up. Who said it? I don't know. Somebody with a God in his name. I don't know how many of y'all know. You know what I'm saying? How many mad players? Is, how many mad players? It may sound out. like Beth the, Beth the God or, or Ref the God right. or, or Fletch the God. You know, I don't know. But I don't know who that is. Whoever that was yeah, gave him a lot of motivation. And I was I saw a different goose guy. And when you're able to catch fire and be able to run off tournaments yeah. and beat these guys, I believe Goose Guy could be one of those guys when I look at the 12 -50. All I know is as you look at this list with those ladders coming up this weekend with the single elims coming up the weekend after, this is going to be a really exciting two weeks because there's no LCQ, there's no last chance to get in. you got to perform here. So as we see the field get shrunk down, we're going to have some fun looking at who qualifies for the Madden Bowl. Clef, I know you, you're, gonna, you're having a lot of fun up here with us, but you're going to be grinding as hard as anybody to get, I mean, just a little bump up. You want that yellow line below you. So good luck this weekend. I mean, ladders, yeah. you don't get no break. Sorry, man. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You we just got to get to the grind. We getting home. And as soon as this tournament over, I'll be in the player's lounge probably getting right to it, man. And if you not, if you a fan of competitive manner, you ain't watching the streams this weekend. You got it. This is the most intense tournament we've had in a long, long time. Ladders. These ladders right here, you got a lot of people who going to be sweating. You know, this, this, it's 30, it, forget about just making a playoff tournament. You talking about $30,000 to secure that Madden Bowl and a chance to win 250? You know, it's going, it's going to be a lot, look, it's going to be sweating. A lot of belts, a lot of great players there. It's going to be fun, but we got a final to get to today. And I'm really excited for this one as we've got Abram just coming off a win over Dottimus. First time we're seeing him on the stage, but guess what? We got Tori. First time where he's no stranger to the big stage though. Tori, a former D1 basketball player at Cleveland State. And he was a starter on the 2021 team that made the NCAA tournament. See some clips from there. What a journey he went through, not just in athletics, but here in video, in video games. You, you hoop a little, right? You got a little hoop. Yeah, yeah a little Absolutely. bit. Our friend Ryan bit. Hollins chatted with Tori a few days ago and talked a little about hoops. And well, your name came up. It's so sad. Take a listen. Y'all let me catch these strings. All right, Tori, you know, you're a fellow Hooper. We got to get straight to this, man. If you you can include Madden personalities, they say one great user trash. I don't know. I didn't say that. You didn't hear that from me. And, and we're going to give you a chance to pick pick your five, Tori. I want to see you pick your five. So you can go Madden pros or personalities. What five are you going to go into Hoop? And if you want to include your boy, if not, you want to shout out somebody else. I'm cool either way, man. So you're saying I bring a five to the park and we're going to Hoop? You got to win. The money's on the line, man. Money's on the line. I think I'll put Cliff out there at point guard. He'll, he'll go out there, he'll pass the rock around, facilitate, be a floor general. I don't really want him taking too many shots, but he can definitely facilitate, get the ball around. Definitely gonna ride with you at, at the five spot, at U.S. center, you know, holding it down, being a paint protector, you know, guarding around. Uh, I kind of throw me at the three, you know, that's self-explanatory, I put myself out there. One of my main guys that played man, he kind of underground, his name Wavy, you know, he played a little bit of college ball back in the day. But Wavy at the four spot, because he kind of got some length, he's pretty tall. And then at the two spot, I'll put TJ, uh, the fellow Reds guy. I think he a shooter. You know, he can hold it down, kind of space the floor out for it. But like that, that, that five can't be beat. These are just catching strays, Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it, Ryan is over here talking about they. Who is they? It was nobody but him. You know what I'm saying? I need him to stand on business. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to say it, say it with your chest, brother. You know what I'm saying? Six nine, say it with your chest. Talking about they said. Who is they, Nick? Did you say it? Did you say it? No, I ain't say it. So who, who is they? Well, Ryan? I, listen, here's all I'm saying. I want to I want to squash the rumors right now. User did not lobby for Ryan Hollins not to be here because of that, okay? That is not true. That is that a lie. Thing. Wink. Anyways, let's <laughs> talk about our final uh, because we've got – Abram coming off a win, taking on Tory. You got to feel like user. Is there a little bit of an advantage to Abram in that he's coming in warmed up? He's played a game. He's had a little bit of that intensity. Does that give him any advantage against Tory? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, all these guys have been playing the game today. I've seen them all in the practice, you know, and neither one of them 
neither one got to see either one of each other game. So I don't think there's any advantage to that. Yes, his fingers was loose yesterday. His fingers been loose for the past couple of weeks. He's ready to play. Whoa, relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> you know, I believe Abram, Torrey, both of these guys right now, the, the playing field is even. Clef, uh, you've certainly been through this journey where you're a, a former athlete going into esports. You've been in that competitive atmosphere. What does that bring for Tory? Uh, what does he bring to the table being a former D1 basketball player and having lived that competitive lifestyle? It's natural because you win these moments every day. You know, you win high pressure situations every single day. You know, you whether it's practice and you're playing games and somebody like him, you know, he's been doing this his whole life. So you go up there and to be in another high stress situation, you know, you get comfortable being uncomfortable. You know, you're not going to be rattled by you know, being on the stage, especially you play D1 basketball, you've been in hostile environments, you played in March Madness, you know, you've been where it's a lot at stake. So, you know, you get comfortable with, it, with this and you actually love it. Like you love that emotional high that you get on from competing at a stage like this. So who's taking home the belt? End of the day, Abram or Tory, who's winning the Zero Chill Challenge? I'm gonna go Tory. I'm gonna go Tory. I just think his game, the way he plays the game, his game style, it just shortens games so much. And you really got to play. It's like playing against another runner. You got to play perfect to play against people like this. And like we've seen how Abram beat Dottimus, you know, a lot of these games come down to clock management. There's nobody in Madden with better clock management than Tori. I mean, honestly, when it comes to this, you know, first off, let it be known, I hate picking. You know what I'm saying? They tried to call me the mush. That's the first thing Donovan said when I saw him. He came to the studio. These guys have their headphones off and, listening. And they said, hey, mushed. I, and they said, hey, he said, who you picking? I said, whoa, 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 relax. It's always a game time decision. Now, one of these guys, it's very few that many people come to me and say, pick me. Pick me because I know you ain't the mush. And even if you is, I want to show the world that it doesn't matter. I was going to win this game regardless. And it's Tory. Tory looked me dead in the eye and said, pick me. Now, from what I've heard, Tory is the best player in this tournament, playing the best Madden. But I'm going to be honest. It's hard for me to bet my picks, my prestige mush career on bubblegum. I mean, I can't do it. Won't do it. Can't win with him. Can't coach with him. He's coming out here. He's running spread offense. I don't know what he's running. And you would not have me put my house money on spread. I got to ride with Abram right here. Yes, Nick. You said a whole lot of nothing, man. Wow, that was a <laughs> lot of words and a lot of slander. <laughs> I did not slander. That was crazy. I did not slander. That was crazy. Wow. You know I'm just saying. You know, saying. You, know sad, you know what's sad? If you ever seen user play mad and the fact that he he has the audacity he's to stunt on what he made him because is why y'all should have seen what this man seen Donald Penn with that run blocking man mm. at tight end. Just the flashbacks of Madden 20 going through. I, his head. I, but see the thing about it, y'all have beat me down so much in the Discord that I just feel like my game style is not successful anymore. Y'all have kicked my head and said, hey user, run the meta, run bunch, bunch is the punch, drink the punch, and guess what? No, I've no, drunk no, the no, punch. No. I told you to run wing slot. You said, no, nah, I think I got some. I think I got some. Now, you know you got no business passing like that, man. You 10 a game, man. You come out here and you can RPO to death, but you don't want to, you, first of all, you stubborn. stubborn. You listen, stubborn. Listen, listen. He won't be coached. What do you mean? Coach. My coach Bugatti Bugs told me to die. Mm. Bunch. Bunch. Crazy. Yo, Coach Bugatti Bugs is stuck. Who hit you with the that's crazy? Who <laughs> hit you with the that's crazy? Oh, my goodness. But you know, I have nothing against the bubblegum offense. Like Clef said, oh, well. that is one of the things that I do love to run. But honestly, you know, it's tough to see. Am I kind of low key hating on it? Because when I see people make it, I'll be like, man, I, that, that could have been me. Uh, all I'm that could have been me. All I'm saying is you can say that there's no, uh, you, 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 you don't hate it. You're not offended. It's like somebody saying no offense, then they insult you. Just because yeah. you said it at the beginning doesn't yeah. mean it's not true. You know We've got saying? a final to get to. We got $30,000 to hand out and a belt as Abram will battle Tory for the Zero Chill Championship. Don't miss out. We will be back in just a second. Happy Holidays! Want more ways to earn content throughout the entire month of December? The Zero Chill Ultimate Team Drops program has you covered. First, log into Madden Ultimate Team on December 7th to add out-of-position tight end Donald Penn to your squad. 
tune into select Madden Twitch streams throughout the month of December to earn Donald Penn upgrade tokens. These tokens can be used to unlock three different holiday themed chemistries, allowing you to create 50 plus different combinations to customize your Donald Penn up to a 91 OVR. The three holiday chemistries to mix and match are All I Want Is Speed, Blocking All The Way, and Route Running Express. For All I Want Is Speed, you can max out Donald Penn's speed rating to a 90. Blocking All The Way will allow you to boost Penn's run blocking rating to 91. And lastly, Route Running Express will let you upgrade the short route running or catching rating to 92. Alongside the holiday chemistry combos, Donald Penn will also receive all 32 team chemistries and a fullback secondary position. To earn upgrade tokens, be sure to link your EA and Twitch accounts. Then, tune into eight different Zero Chill broadcasts over the month of December to fully max out out of position tight end Donald Penn. Begin earning tokens on December 7th by tuning in to select creator streams and stay tuned in all month to max out Donald Penn to that 91 OVR. Our Zero Chill Challenge final is set as Abram will battle Tori for $30,000, the Zero Chill Challenge belt, and MCS points towards that all-important Madden Bowl berth. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape as we size up this final between two guys who are looking for their first belt ever. Clef, one thing you see here, it may be inexperienced, but two guys who are hungry to add their name to the list of legacy. Yeah, both of these guys hungry and confident. Not gonna be shook by the moment, man. And just understanding the opportunity. The opportunity, you know, you come into this, and you know, Abrams made an event, but he's still under the radar. Tori, under the radar. Right here in one game, you could submit your Madden legacy and just be, you know, embraced by the greats, man, to have that thing that we all been chasing for so long, which is a, which is a belt. User, this is an exciting time because we get to hand out a belt to somebody who has never done it before. And I don't think there's anything quite like that in any sport to seeing somebody get their first championship. These two guys, they have fought hard to be here as the kick is away, and we're going to crown a first-time champ in 20 minutes. This is history right here we're watching. Who's, who's going to seize this moment? Who's going to take it? Another great logo, by the way. The little 24 autograph. That 24 go crazy. I ain't going to lie. I'm hating. <laughs> I'm hating. That's, that's cool. Dayton, Ohio native, competed for Cleveland State Vikings, the Horizon League. 2021 NCAA Men's Tournament. He has come from a competitive background, Clef. He's ready to go. Yeah, and you you know, 
just having that competitive background, man, he definitely got an advantage being in here. You know, you know he's ready for the big moment. He's ready for the stage because he done been here so many times throughout his career when he was hooping. You gotta love this user. He was number 24 in college. That's why we got the 24 over there. And not only that, who's his hero? Kobe Bryant. You know he's gonna get up that Mamba mentality today. Yeah, and that's that's the mentality I received off of him as soon as I saw him. And that's why you picked against him. Listen, this, I that's picked That's crazy. <laughs> I, I think he thinks he's the mush for real. No, not at all. He really thinks Tory gonna win, but he don't want to mush. I don't think you can, <laughs> but I don't think you can like, you can game the mush. The mush knows when you're you're picking against your heart. As we get things going, our final pick, by the way, big shout out to everybody hanging out with us. Twitch, YouTube, over on X. TikTok, wherever you're watching, we appreciate you guys watching. Guys, if you're on Twitch, we got that Twitch survey you can fill out. Uh, we certainly do appreciate it. We continue to improve this broadcast. Your feedback is so important, so make sure you fill that out. If you could do so, thank you oh so much. As we get the first drive underway, Otto Graham. Mm, tight the slot's shot. open. Tight this, slot hits Tory. A... He drops back to pass. Pressure up the middle. Oh, good defense. You have to throw this away. Came out with a unique formation user. But That's one of Abram my favorite formations. That's why I noticed. So you run the bubble gum. It's true. I, I, I may slander it, but I do run it. I do. You just want to call a spade a spade here. I love the bubble gum, but it's, it's not so safe. It's just not. Motion over. Looks like to Trip get a little trips. Third and 10. Todd Gurley in the backfield. It is Graham back to pass. Three-man rush. He'll look underneath. Oh, man. Dangerous throw. Defender closing on Jerry Rice. He picks up four. First fourth down of the game. And it's never good in your first four plays. You're already facing the fourth down. Back to the tight slots open. I like the play call. He's like, it's not good that he's doing it, but I like it. Yeah, it's not, it's not good that he's yeah, doing yeah, You're right. Absolutely. I don't Remember, man. he has that hot route master. That's a book! It's, it was an inaccurate pass already, and it's picked up. Allen going the other way. He's tackled by Glover. First stop of the day goes to Abram. His defense was the key in that first game, especially second half, and he looks like he is continuing on. If you know Abram, if you didn't check out that first game, this is his second MCS appearance. He's the only competitor to qualify for multiple monthly MCS challenge events this season, and user, he's coming off a win where in the second half, he locked down defensively. Yes, this is Abram's second event here, and like you heard him say before, he's much comfortable, he's more relaxed. Last time he had to play right after the patch. Funny thing is we had a patch this morning, but his defense wasn't touched. The game really wasn't touched when I talked to all these guys. They said it still feels the same. Everything pretty much seems the same. I'm not even worried about the patch. And that was great to hear from Which is great guys. to hear, right? Like that's yeah. that's credit to the, the team for not putting out a major patch the day of a tournament and, and changing the game. It's got, that had to be a sigh of relief for these guys playing the game this morning, being like, okay, this is the same game. Yeah, even though what, uh, you know, what K Space said in the dev notes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> even though what K Space said in the dev notes. I'm going to send you user's address just in case you want to go visit him, check people. out the house, maybe have a meal, <laughs> unplug some clocks and make them reset. Like, whatever, man. Yeah, man, he's trying to fly on the radar. You keep putting this man on the map. This Ooh. man don't want to be on the map, man. Oh. Oh, good the defense. defense. Yeah. JJ Watt with the sack. I did just get a text from K Spade. He said, user, you are no longer welcome in Orlando. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we talked about, Tory's offense. You know, one of the oh my dangerous goodness. Throw. That's a dangerous throw. Good knockout. And that's not having gift wrap right there, you know, Abram using a slaughter printer. You know, that's a that's a that's a hard throw. That's a dangerous throw. And I will say, just to go back to Abram defense, Abram is doing a great job on defense of making People move outside the pocket and just getting them inaccurate throws. And, you know, we talked about it. Would Torrey be prepared? Abram pulling out something new with that defense that he's running, and he gets a quick four and out with an interception on fourth down. And Torrey offense was supposed to be one of the strengths of his game. Third and 20. Graham back to pass. Five-man oh, rush goodness. looks right side. It's caught by Rice. Good coverage out there. Fourth and eight. Impressed with what Torrey's brought defensively so far. Can he get a stop? The other way. Do you take this three right here? Surprise right here, because you want to you want to use this possession. You know, you want to make sure you get points. I'm so, I actually shocked that he's going for this. Here he goes, Graham back to pass, steps up, Gino. dangerous throw, and it's knocked out, and we got to stop Bro, each way. Man, the defense so showing their teeth early. Right there, you have oh, to kick that so three. You got to make him pay and put Especially pressure after on him. Last game, we saw the conservative call oh, to take the three and go up 10. Now, yeah. early game, he goes aggressive. Yeah, you got to steal with possession right there. You know, you got to take advantage on, on that turnover. You can't allow him monster. to not pay for his mistake. Man, that, no audible out of the monster that time. Let's take a look one more time, user. It felt like that drive, 
every single pass that was made by Abram was in tight coverage. And that's tough because he doesn't have gift wrap. So passes got to be wide open. You can't afford to be touched whether he has KO or not because you don't have gift wrap. And Torrey told me that he was going to be running that monster, trying to make sure Abram base aligned his defense. And right there came out on first down this time. Move. Oh, mm. about got nano detected. He's Playmaker of the field, but he'll step out of bounds. Guys, make sure, again, remember you to use that hashtag zero chill. We want to get this trending on uh, on X, so make sure you use hashtag zero chill. You might see your tweet live on stream, and if you don't know how to link your EA account and your Twitch account to earn those drops, to earn that out of position Mike Evans, which Beamer. it looks great. Scan the QR code that's on screen. I know, uh, Clef, you're going to get that, that Mike Evans. Yeah, I've seen the stream pulled up on your phone. You're earning your drops right now. Oh, yeah, by any means. That's why you can't complain if you don't get them. By any means, man, make sure your account link. Make sure you in here watching. Tell your friends. Tell everybody because that Mike Evans, 6'5", you got you to gotta have him and Calvin. Otto Graham over the middle. He finds Kyle Pitts, who has more receptions in this game than maybe he has all year for the oh. Falcons. And Juke move inside. And Kyle Pitts to the house. And a slam dunk touchdown for Tory. And that's why it's so important to get three. Tory, I don't even believe Tory no plays the same way if he's down three right there. Exactly. He played different. And that's why you use a Kyle Pitts. He, he can juke. You know, the, the fact that he can juke right there. If he can't juke, that's not a touchdown. And you see Tory out here with Hot Route Master, man, to have that crosser on the field. He can't have that, that route combo on the field if he don't have that Hot Route Master. So that's the, that's the pro of using Hot Route Master to have those extra routes on your receiver. Kick is away, 7-0, Tory with lead. Let's take a look one more time. Uh, nice read, and then user impeccable stick work. Yeah, right here, Cal Pitts open field. It's so tough to stop when you have a tight end like that that has high juking abilities, high juke rating, and you see Tory, he's more relaxed now. Hey, hey man, I appreciate that you going for that. I appreciate you not having your gifts wrapped. Autogram back to work. Looks to the oh, wheel route. Yeah. It's Jimmy Graham. Mm. Ooh, tried to journal inside, took a hit. That's a dangerous play. We've seen too many fumbles like from that hit on the journal. Yeah, yeah, journaling right there is crazy. You Ooh, know, that, that, is, that is definitely crazy. That's an easy, easy way to fumble. Let me second mark. Quick throw up the seam. So some quick reads here from Abram. Reminiscent of his first drive in the semifinal, working fast. Yeah, and Abram, seam streaks right now in Madden 24, especially with set feet, they're crazy right now. you got to have those on the field. If you really want to be unstoppable on offense and have a great skin, you got to be using seam streaks with the set feet. And you know, when you have the gift straps, it's almost like street specialists back in the day. It, it, remember. it is. That's why, you know, you go back to that first possession. Abram got stopped because of one reason. Didn't have gifts wrapped. He didn't have them gifts wrapped up. He wasn't wrapped up out here in that. And to not have that, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely questionable. Puff, you, and that's how I was You're so signed up, right? Just want to make sure. Oh, I'm QR code's on right now. Make sure you sign up for the playoffs. Oh, yeah, we signed up. We okay, signed just up. Just making sure. We signed up. Carry on. Usually, you signed up. Huh? Come on. Huh? What? One more time? Uh, huh? Uh, your earpiece good? That's great. So what? Empty backfield for Otto Graham. Second and 15. Looking left side. He's got Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham will pick up the first down as Abrams quickly moved his way to the 31 yard line and moves back to the line quickly. Bunch to the left side. Ayuk on the outside of that bunch. Moss right in the middle. Now he'll motion over to tight slots, but Todd Gurley on the right hip. And what's so tough right now for Abram because this is his last possession in his first half. If Torrey holds true to the Torrey that I've been told, he's going to make sure this is Torrey, that this is Abrams' last possession in his first half. And then not get three, knowing that you get the ball at half, you got to make him pay for every turnover. Back to work, and he'll go to the oh, RPO for the first time. Oh, what a hit! Oh, the RPO got blown up in the backfield. Richard Sherman making the hit. And that's Richard Sherman. And that's why you got to go get this, this, this Richard Sherman, man. Flat zone for 1 AP. So that's any flat zone that he hit, he's in under 10 yards. He's going to have better reaction. And he's going to get those knockouts just like he got there on that RPO bubble. Third and eight. Motions go to the right side. Ran back to pass. Quick slant. Ayuk uh -oh. catch fourth in the yard. Uh-oh. Another fourth oh, down right here. Play the game. Hey, you hear Tori? He's going, uh-oh. Think about it. This is going to be a bad Think about it first. That's another thing that Tori brings to the table, especially being a former basketball player. Well, if you know how it is in them streets, the talking on the court, he's not going to be afraid. He's not going to be afraid to talk a little trash out here and try to get in his head. And I love it. I love, I love the art. You got to love and respect the art of competition, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing better than oh, some my. Oh, what a, what a throw. What a throw. Some friendly trash talking, man. Yeah, speaking of trash talking, I heard you was going to shoot yeah. up. 
First Tory one on one. Yeah, no. Because you, you said you got to see who the best hooper is I in the I came out game. here to hoop. Mm -hmm. Commentating was second. When I found out he made the tournament, mm -hmm. I got to get out here by any means. Mm -hmm. I got to get out here by any means. Yeah, so we, chat, we got to know, you know, who do y'all like? Six mm. for Tory. Oh, nice juke move mm. right there to get into the end zone. And Jerry Rice goes airborne like an airplane into the end zone. Next point away from tying this game up. Abram, good answer. Yeah, I mean, so who, who do y'all like, Chad? 6 4 Tory? 5 10 CTG. Oh, Come on now. 5 8 CTG. Yeah, you, you, you guys stop. You guys stop. I can say right now stop. that Clef the God is 5 9. Thank, thank you. Why, why are you on the Chad is 5 9. He told you Chad he was 5 10. Is five, ten Chad's, a, Chad's a tall 5 9. I'm, I'm so tired of you guys. Chad's 5 10. Feet. No, he's not. He told you he's 5 9. He, man, he was just. He was just this is the big fourth down conversion right here. Fourth and one to keep Seamless the transition. Moving. Then Jay Rice right there with the bubble. Nice juke move, gets into the end zone and tie this ball game up. And here we are once again with those bubble screens. And, yeah, and, double stack and you can see him falling down already. You can already see yeah, what you went and talked screen. about, about his clock management. He gonna make sure this drive, you see two clock on already mm -hmm. in the second quarter. This you know, is the last drive. This will be the last drive of this half. I, I'm, I am curious, user, while, uh, while St. Nick was here, did you ask him for lifts in your shoes so you can get to six feet or did you? I, I didn't. I didn't have to ask Saint Nick for that. God bless me with that, sir. You were cool sure? five eleven. <laughs> Dude, he's the coolest five eleven guy I know. He's the tallest five eleven. He's a big five eleven. He's a, yeah. he a tall five eleven. Y'all understand? Nick always try to make everybody else taller, but so to me. So that taller. I don't look nearly as bad. You ain't wrong. Todd Gurley up the middle, maybe gets a yard, and he'll hurry back to the line. Let's over to Bunch. Otto Graham, quick throw to the flat. Todd Big Gurley tackles. with the catch. Big tackles to bring up a third and six. And right here, Abram, you got to get off the field. Every time Todd Gurley touches the ball, anytime you can bring him to the ground on the first tackle, it feels like a win. Yeah, because he's so fast. He's, his overall, he's so much better than all the other cards on the field. That theme diamond has to put 32 cards together or get the 32 tokens to get them or buy them off the auction. And, you know, Todd Gurley is easily the best offensive player right now. He's out on that. Third and six. As we've hit the two-minute warning, 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Ran back to pass, three-man rush, picked up that's nicely. Defense. Steps that's left. Defense. Playmaker. And he'll throw to the playmaker. Oh, that's a pump! And it's picked off. It's Ray Lewis the other way. Inside midfield, down to the 46-yard line. Abrams defense coming up with a late half stop. That's what Abram needed now. He's gotten two stops. Now you got to make sure, regardless, Torrey pays for this mistake. Whether you take the clock and get three, you got to make sure Torrey doesn't get this ball again. Tackle on Ayuk on the bubble screen. Oh, headstand after the play. Second and eight. And that clock run down, under a minute and a half to go. Graham back to pass. Pressure, not getting there. Ooh. And it should have been a book the other way. Wow. Josh. Torrey almost got one back. Allen in coverage. Josh Allen playing a phenomenal man defense right there on the corner route on Jimmy Graham. That's a talented cover athlete right there. Third and eight. Graham back to pass, corner blitz. Beamer. He's got Rice wide open. Possession catch at the 28-yard line. Big third down conversion user as Abram taking advantage of that interception. And that's one of the things, you know, Abram using that slot apprentice on Randy Moss, running double corner route combination, able to fit it in that tight window, has the corner route again once and again. And it's Randy, Randy Moss. Moss. He lays down, takes Torrey last time out. Very smart play right there. Make sure he takes off. At least 30 seconds from this 46 right here. You do not want to score right here on this first down. It's a smart play, assuming you do get in the end zone eventually. Even if he takes three, I'm not upset. But you got to make sure you do not score right here because otherwise it's pointless. It's too much time left. Well, I don't oh, you remember. my goodness. Oh, that's perfect. Well, I don't know if you remember Todd Gurley a couple years ago eh, fell into the end zone when he should have fallen down. He actually was able to get down to the one-yard line there, and that clock's going to get moving. He can take this all the way down to about the 12-second mark. And that's perfect right there. If I'm him, I'll just make sure I'll go take this and call the timeout up when I get down to one second, use as much time as I can. Then the next two plays, you still have two timeouts left. You'll be able to burn the timeout. You can run whatever you want, bubble screen, jet, jet touch pass, whatever you want to get into this end zone. Set out 15 seconds on the clock. 
Give himself time in case he doesn't pick it up here. Let's see what he decides to do. He'll go under center. Three tight ends. Todd Gurley in the backfield. He'll motion Gronk. Stretch right. It's like a wide. Played him. Stretch low. Yeah, it's it's almost like a it's almost like a it's a B gap run. It's almost an inside zone split run. But Abram walks into that the hurt. end zone. He scores with 13 seconds on the clock oh, and takes advantage this time of the turnover. And right here, you got to make sure you play the sidelines. You just want to make sure you tackle, keep the ball in the play, so this clock will run out. I see what he audibles to there. It's like a zone weaker almost, something like that. It's yeah, it looks side. like a zone weak. Splits that, splits that Gronk off the line, runs weak side. Here's the pick one more time. Might be good for a guitar store, but not good for a defense, for an offense. Uh, Ray Lewis picks that one off and then cashing in with the run play, able to use all his timeouts. Masterful end of half clock management. Yeah, Abram showing the guy, showing great clock management. Uh-oh. And take uh -oh. the shot, and he might have him. Uh oh, it's and he gets out of bounds. What a play. Torrey dialing up the deep pass, and we'll get points to end the drive. Does he take a shot to the end zone first? Wow. Wow. Carter gets open. He's going to take a shot here. He's got six seconds left. Otto Graham back to pass. Four seconds. Three seconds. He throws it up to Carter. Oh, oh my God. Off the, off the tip, and a prayer up to the big man upstairs. As Torrey's going to tie this that's game up. An true, unbelievable true. end of half play. <laughs> and the Madden God smiling down <laughs> on the Cleveland yeah, State Vikings. So oh, my yeah, God. So I know Avery yeah, has to feel like I cannot believe this. But Does he his, have his gifts wrapped? His gifts are wrapped. You get blessed when you have your gifts wrapped. Mm. Nine seconds. And that's why I kind of felt like he should have burnt some more time. You know, <laughs> Even because, more. Even more time. Leave it on, what, 13 seconds? Right before half, no timeouts, able to get out of bounds. That was huge. And then chucks it up, went for the swat. Ball's tipped up in the air. <sighs> Somehow, some way, you're going in, you're going in the halftime tie. 14 up. apiece. What a first half. What a wild finish. As we'll get the second half kickoff, it will be Abram getting the ball to start the second half. Thought he might have been up seven. Instead, it will be tied, and we have a wild finish here to the Zero Chill Challenge from San Francisco, California. As Gurley will take the fair catch, and we will hit halftime before we get to halftime. We gotta take a look one more time at this. More tips than a Madden ebook. Chris Carter off the rebound. I mean, listen, Torrey had a couple rebounds in his career, and Chris Carter got one for him. Skying off the glass and saying a thank you to the Madden gods upstairs to tie this game up. 14 apiece. What a wild finish to the half. These two, I mean, you gotta love it. They're smiling, they're having a good time. Tori said this is the this is the fun part. And we can see these guys having a good time. $30,000 on the line. All important MCS points and a belt. The game you love on the go, guys. Make sure you download Madden NFL 24 Mobile today. You can build your team of ultimate your ultimate team of NFL superstars from anywhere, all in the palm of your hands. And guys, make sure, if you haven't done it yet, make sure your EA account link to the Twitch account. You can earn that out of position, free safety, Mike Evans, 91 overall, designed by the Harvest Challenge champion, Kobo. You also get your standard drop packs as well. So make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account. You're going to want to be earning drops. Oh, we talked about the zero chill drops going on all month long with your favorite streamers, the open directory. And then as we get into January, we're going to have more drops. So make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account and you are earning those free items just for hanging out with us. Uh, wild finish of the first half. Clef, user, break it down for us. What a tournament we have had so far. Clef, this is crazy. Two turnovers already in the first half, and it's tied up. Yeah. It's tied up. You feel like Abram, the first mistake was on him, not taking three. The second time, you're like, did he leave him too much time? He should, he should be good. Should be is the key word right here. What's your takeaway from that first half? I think Abram got to be kicking himself. You know, you outplayed him in the first half. You outplayed him. You know, you played a better half than he played, but you let him off the hook. 
you know, you let them off. The you hook. let them off the hook. And in these games, when you have somebody down, you gotta capitalize and make them pay. You know, this he is got the championship. This, is the ch this ain't this ain't a regular game. This is a championship. Those mistakes, you they gotta come put back and bite you. You they gotta come back put them down. Man. Yeah, they come back and bite you. So just getting not taken through that first time, and, and honestly, he didn't leave him too much time. You know, 12 seconds, no timeouts. You can't get points out of that. You can't. That's the one thing you can't give up. I, I'm wondering, like he he did the Mabel, and. He didn't go towards the sideline. Perfect play call over the field. You know, Abram expected him to try to do something quick to, you know, go towards the sideline, takes the post, and then gets out of bounds. That was huge. Six seconds left, you're thinking, okay, listen, be thankful. Take your three and get out of there. Torrey letting him hang, saying, you know what? I got one more shot in me. I got one more shot. Great swap by Abram out of the way, but able to come down because he has those gifts wrapped. The question is, how mentally, how much does this affect Abram to think like he should be finished right now? Yeah, I get ball at half. That's the one good thing. Yeah, yeah. You get ball at half. That's the one good thing. But you're thinking like, Lord, I should be at least up by three right now. Yeah, he, you could think he could be up 10 right now. You know, if he take three and then he scored before half like he did, it'd be 17 to seven. And then if you don't give up points, yeah. you know, so you, you know it, that's, that's in his head, definitely. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is, you know, the game is tied. Mm -hmm. I get ball to half. You gotta be able to shake it off. You gotta shake, that's what makes the And greatness. we're gonna see that's how much that greatness. experience plays in because a lot of times you say mentally, you think about it, you can start, you know, beating yourself because you start thinking about all the mistakes you make. Next, you know, things start compound, compounding and you start to unravel. We're gonna see how Abram finishes the second half, but we're gonna take a quick look at these two plays right before half, 12 seconds left. Tory, 13 seconds left. Tory comes out, slot open, tight slots open. One of my favorite formations, by the way. And Cliff, break down what yeah. we're gonna see right here. So it's 13 seconds left. He got no timeouts. The one sin right here is giving up anything deep and letting him get out of bounds right here. You can't, you just, you can't let it happen, man. Anything, I, you can't let him get out of bounds right here. You can see he's running cover four. He's running cover four right here. And he got to run with this post. You see this post, it's going to clear. This is a good beater because you can see this comeback right here. This comeback is pulling that corner down. So that's going to pull that quarter down. Now, this other safety is, is in a quarter. So what does he run into? He, he on the hash right here. He's on the hash. So you can see this post right here. I believe that's Chris Carter just waiting, waiting, waiting. And just great patience by Torrey to make this throw. And I would just say that, that right there can't happen if you Abram. You got to run with that route. You got to be running deep. You have to be running deep right there. Able to get out of bounds, no timeouts, six seconds right there. Clef, you're thinking he takes three in that situation. What do you do? You thinking he just take three? Me personally, I'm taking three. Like, man, thank you. Just thank <laughs> you for letting me get points right here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank man, you. I'm very thankful. But we're going to see what Tory does. Tory says, I'm not thankful. I'm greedy. He I want more. And yeah. that's what he does as we'll pull up the second play. You'll see he decides to go for it. Six seconds left. He's not thankful for the three. He wants more. He understands the championships on the line. Three doesn't win you ball games. Seven does. Clef break down what we see right here. And it's just letting him hang. You know, this is a, this is a good this is a good job by Abram. You know, it's really nothing Abram can do right here. You know, he Tory think I'm gonna just take a shot at the end zone. You know, I gotta see what happened. You know, I gotta see what happened. You can see this streak right here. And the wheel route right here to, to Chris Carter, you can see he's not thinking nothing of this, man. You're not thinking you're going to catch it. It's either I catch it, though, or it's an incompletion. You never, he don't think that, especially as this play going, we roll this play. And this is, this, you know, Abram does the right job, clicks on, he swats Those the ball. Swat. His, deep, his deep out swats the ball, which is understandable. But and then that's he, Pacheco. That's Pacheco. We, we talked about it. But that's a swat, though. He, that's a, that is a swat. That's a great swat. But we talked about it. He's an itty bitty. He, he's and that's small. why you need players like the zero chill Calvin Johnson. If you're watching right now, you're going to get that in the drop. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but Pacheco, yes, he does get the ability for two AP, but it costs you because of his height right there. Tips the ball up in the air, gives the receiver a second chance to come down with it with the gift wrap. You Big gotta have play right wrap. there. You gotta have gift wrap. You see stuff like that and you don't have gift wrap. You're not gonna get you're the fluke. Not trying to, you're not trying to give yourself those yeah. opportunities. You're not gonna get the fluke. If you don't have the, the gifts wrapped, you're not gonna get the fluke to what happened right there. You gotta give yourself an opportunity to get the magic. Yeah. Do you believe in magic? Make sure you have your gifts wrapped. Clef, we're looking at this second half. What are you expecting right now? Who do you think is gonna pull this game out? 
man, this first drive is everything. It's going to tell us everything we need to know. You know, I think I think if Abram go down here and get seven, you know, none of this matters. You know, he'll be up seven. He'll be in a good position, especially with the way Torrey really wants to slow this game down. So I'm just looking forward to that first drive. That first drive is going to tell me everything I need to know about this game. You know, can Torrey get a stop? Does Abram nullify his mistakes in the first half? You know, we seen mm -hmm. Abram play a, a great second half last game. So maybe he's just a second half player. Yeah, but we're going to see. We got the second half left of the championship tied up ball game. Abram gets the ball. He made some mistakes in the first half. Does he let those mistakes come back and bite him? We will see. We're going to throw it back to Nick in the booth. It's time to give away the soon to be coveted 93 overall Jalen Hurts. It's going to be a QB1 on a lot of rosters this weekend during ladders for the playoff challenge. The lucky winner of Jalen Hurts goes to Carden underscore Lawson one. Arden Lawson won. The Eagles QB is headed to your mod account. We'll be in touch shortly with more info. So be on the lookout. Speaking of looking out, be on the lookout for St. Nick. He's still in the building working on all those mutt giveaways that'll be dropping in our winner's account. Big shout out to St. Did, did he get the belt? How? He got a belt before user did. Did he deliver the belt? That's I from think the he North won Pole? it. It is icy. Is that from the North Pole? Yeah. Yeah. The elves what worked hard on that belt. That's icy. You usually got one of those belts at home or? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, just check it. I just want to check. Dang, I don't either. It's crazy. That is. Is it crazy? That's crazy. That is. That Shout is out to Dave K. Spade. God. <laughs> the man's just trying to enjoy his holiday season. And he was just throwing rocks through his window. <laughs> Hey man, I'm just making sure we don't forget the guy behind the scenes. User would the run into K Spade. Oh my God! User would run into K Spade on the street. Be, you'd give him a Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Like, <laughs> good Lord. You think he's being nice? Then cutscene. Second and ten as Abram gets the ball to start the second half. Off that incredible touchdown from Tory. It's autogram with a bunch to the left side. Graham back to pass. Blitz from the right side gets in, but that oh, leaves Graham Jimmy. open. And he's past midfield. Tries to do the stop and go. It was just the stop. All right here, Abram has to go down here and get seven. Just to shake off the jitters, just to shake off whatever happened, shake off the bad juju, go down here and get seven. Give me that. You get seven, it's a, it's a deep sigh of relief. Like, okay. Shake off the, the mush juju is what you're saying. You did pick him. And then that happened. Mm. Are you saying this game is looking mushy right now? Guys, just uh, on Twitter, make sure you use that hashtag zero chill and also use that hashtag one great mush. Come on, man. Yeah, I, no user, user be doing it on purpose, man. It's no I, way. I think at this point he's doing it on purpose. It's no way. Hey, Do you believe in the mush, Clef? I, I've been a, a victim of the mush many you, times. You have, maybe been, I, you have maybe been victimized more than anybody. That's, that's why people be like, man, Clef and you is a good chemistry. They cool, you know, that's, they, they tight. Like, we is, I need, but I know how he really is. <laughs> what? I know this man, true integrity, I need man. somebody, I need <laughs> no, somebody to go crazy. back to Madden 20 from then, and I need to know users' picks, how many got mushed, because it's got to be a lot. Yeah. It, it, and, and I done heard user in the I, I done heard on my life. I done heard crazy <laughs> things, man. Oh, that's a tight window. Way to lay it down, fourth and seven. Listen. They play oh, here my for life. <laughs> I've, I, I've never, I've never mushed anybody. If I picked you, I believed in you. So much. Oh, oh, wow. You oh, fights man. through the tackle and gets a first down. That's big right there. C route throwing it right there on the break inside the scene. With no gift wraps, getting it completed. Has the corner yeah. route. Josh Allen! Damn, Allen, Allen oh can't get you, Did you really say you've never mushed anyone? No. Bro, you got so much mush, you're basically a baby food company. That's crazy. That's when they used to bring the glove out. Thankfully, oh, the, the glove, glove was ain't crazy. here. The thankfully, glove was crazy. you know, thankfully, I went to use the house for my cousin's birthday in the summer. I found that glove. I, I did unspokable things. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that glove will not be back. I can confirm. In the woods. Uh -oh. I can confirm that Brandon glove won't trouble. be back. We're just not seeing it anymore? It's, we, been, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's crazy. It's, it's, it did what you had to do. It's in the water do. somewhere. It's crazy. And I took a walk to the water. I've been searching for it, too. <laughs> I've been searching for it. That's crazy. Anybody ever see Office Space? Smash it like the printer. Graham back to pass. Blitz from the right side. Oh, Ooh, that's that, him. He's lucky that was overthrown because that's picked if it's not. Yeah, and that's that's just Abram trying to move away from the blitz. You know, in this game, if you move outside that pocket, the, the, the accuracy, the chances of you making a pass, they they greatly, mm. greatly decrease. You know, you get a lot of pressure and accuracy, a lot of poor accuracies, to be exact. Force is huge And we right see this is, a, this is his money play right here. Over the middle to Moss, who oh, wow. hangs on through two tackles. How? 84 with a first down. That's a, that's a great, that's one of those trusted reads right there. He threw it right off the break. And that's what you got to do sometimes on third and fourth down. Just trust what you see. 
And that's that's what no gift wrap. That's no gift wrap. That's, that's no gift wrap. That's a scary throw. You know, you know, Tom froze when he threw that for him, but it's, it's, it was a it was a good read. Oh man, I just don't think that happens for me. Oh, he takes no. the corner. That's All a right. beam. Open. Oh, Wide good. open. Too oh, easy. Good. Randy Moss oh, picks up the first down, and Randy Moss picks up the touchdown. And that's a great drive by Abram right there. Way to respond. We had to fight through some adversity. Saw a couple fourth downs that drive, but still able to keep this drive together and get seven. Yeah, and that's a, he needed that for his confidence. You know, he, he definitely needed that because now you can put everything behind you. Mm -hmm. Now you're not thinking about what happened in that first half. You know, you get a lot of time during these half times to really – really soak on what happened, mm -hmm. you know, so to go out here and his first drive and get seven, you know, it just eliminates all that doubt. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing as we take a look back at the replay right here. Fourth and ten, able to complete that in traffic, then look back at the touchdown corner route, high ball, Moss comes down with it, easy touchdown pass, easy read right there for Abram. But like you said, that's the thing about the difference in a lot of it. You have to sit there and let what happened in the first half, marinate for a few seconds. Me and you got to go to the big board, start drawing up plays, and you thinking like, man, let me just get back in the game, man. Graham takes oh, the oh, catch it oh, oh. picked off. Oh. Nolan Smith oh, got to come down with that. He yeah, costs no, too no. much money not to come down with that. Yo, 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 you would think, you would think he could come down with that one. That's, that's, a Nolan, that's, 90, special. that's 93 speed. He, mm -hmm. he definitely, he, he gets to the quarterback. That's the one thing about these faster D-line. When they shed, they got a greater opportunity to get them throw out of sack picks because just how fast they are. 21 yeah, 14. JJ Watt on defense. Graham back to pass, three man rush. Graham Corner rolling route. right, got the corner route. Get Jackson there. with the catch, and it's knocked out on what should be a horse collar tag. Let's call that out. But the knockout goes crazy, and it's fourth and six. And you've seen that dead eye light up. Torrey got dash and dead eye. And we know how KOs work on this game. Torrey threw that way too early. If he throw that a second later, he gets that out of, bound, out of bounds animation where they, he's gonna, they're going to call that a catch every time. Can he pick up a fourth down? Abrams already got one stop on fourth down. Grand back to pass. Stepping left, throwing left. He's got Kyle Pitts in between four defenders. Easy pickup for Torrey. Yeah, right here, you see Torrey going up tempo. He doesn't want to get clocked in this fourth quarter, you know, so he want to score right here as quick as possible and get the ball last and make sure it's the last possession. Otto Graham. In trouble. Man, that pressure off the edge got there quickly. Graham gets rid of it, second and ten. And I like what Abram doing on defense. You see coverage one play, you see blitzing another play. Like, he's doing a great job, but just keeping Torrey off balance, man. It's, it's really hard to deal with Dollar when you're seeing different adjustments, different blitzes every play. The chess match is real between these two. Oh, yeah, it's real. You see Torrey coming out in different formations trying to see what worked. You see Abram trying different adjustments, trying to get him uncomfortable. Looking at the corner hey, route, clicks on, but good knockout from the safety. And, and just to touch on, this is what we go back to what we talked about before this tournament started. Mm -hmm. You know, when we did that segment, you have hot route master. You can have all the routes you want. If you don't have set feet, that throw is, is, is so difficult to complete. That set feet, that's an easy catch. Because it gives, gives the defense time to get there and touch them. And you have those KO abilities, you're not going to be able to get down and set feet lead, cleft touch right on it. You, you don't have that zip. Oh, that's good coverage. Defense. That's good coverage. But he's that's got coverage. so much time. Oh. Late throw over the middle. It's caught by Carter. Oh, man. Avoids a tackle oh, and goodness. picks up the first down. I don't think mm. he had to dive right there on that tackle. I think if he, I think he could have probably saved so that play right tackle? there. Yeah. First and 10, under 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Pressure picked up this time over the middle. He finds Amari Cooper, and Cooper will lunge forward to the 31-yard line, making a second and one. And he's taking a lot of time right he here is. to score. I know he hates that because Abram can really clock this whole fourth quarter, kick three, and get out of here. He'll actually go to the ground. Big tackle. Mm -hmm. and you That's going to take you to the fourth. Yeah, you heard Abram say inside stuff. You know, he has that inside stuff on right there. And he did that. Why? Just for this game. You know, you know who you're playing against. That's the mm -hmm. beauty of sometimes of just knowing who you're playing against and playing much. It's so easy one mm -hmm. game to switch abilities, you know, from the next game, depending yeah. on who you're playing against and their play style. You know Torrey's going to run that ball, so you're going to invest into it inside stuff and say, hey, okay, you're going to spend one AP on this right here because this guy, he has a tendency to run. You never know how much that's going to play a factor into this game. To borrow a move from, I don't know if you've heard of this guy, RG. I need to see the chat go crazy. Give me a one in the chat if you think Abrams coming away with the win. Give me a two if you think Torrey completes the comeback. Third and four. 
And he's going to find Kyle Pitts on the sidelines, down to the 12-yard line, another conversion as Torrey has worked his way to the red zone. Dude, this is a gun split slot. Honestly, uh, Torrey has taken a lot of time. This drive, big time. tackle. A dangerous could have, throw. Could have been an interception. If he, if he scores yeah, up under, I, I think either way, Abram takes the rest of this game. Yeah, this, takes this, the rest this, of this, this is a terrible position to be in. With And we're about to go under four minutes right here, you know. And he, he kind of got to go for seven, too. You know, I think you... you you almost got to go for it here, even if you don't, you know, even if you get on the fourth mm. round. Oh, my God. What a hit. I more hits than the Beatles catalog is this Abram defense laying the lumber everywhere. Graham, third oh, and five. Oh, that's good defense. That's good defense. Can you stay scrambling? Stay on them. Oh, fourth and five fourth right down. here. You got to go for it. And you got to go. We're well, up under go four minutes. You got to get a stop anyway. You know, you got to get a stop anyway, so you, you got to go for this. And he would have the ball inside the eight. And I look for Torrey, you got you, you got Dash and Deadeye, man. The best way to roll out is definitely down here. You know, it's easy to manipulate them zones, especially flat zones when you're down here in the red zone. I would have loved if he pulled that safety down right here, but you know, unable to do that. Gotta watch the tight end, tight end for a quick snap. Yeah. I, I would expect some safety hooks. Three seconds of the play clock, two seconds of the play clock. Graham back to pass. The pressure is brought, it's picked up. End zone. Oh, oh my! He did it again! He caught him out of bounds! Wow. He didn't get too far. And they killed the smoke. <laughs> I him. thought he was in. He got the animation. I thought it was picked first. Yes, I did think it was picked. And then it was caught, but the two feet not in bounds. The virtual refs say incomplete pass, and we go the other way. That's a big stop for Abram right there. Now all he all he has to do is take time. Take time. And if you can get three right here, it's see this one more time, will it? Oh, how do we miss Ooh. that pick? And he swerved. He swerved into an animation. You see him click on and kind of move his receiver a little bit. Is that second that's, foot? That's just that's a tough that's a tough break right there. Second and nine. Pressure from the right side. Gurley Whoop. with the catch. First down. That's a huge. And it's tackle. appropriate that it's Christmas time because we got some milk and cookies on the field. That's a huge tackle right there to tap, tackle Gurley in the open field. And you know, if you Abram, he got to get a run every first down. Every first down, he, he got to get a run. And Torrey, on the other hand, you got to get aggressive. Uh-oh. What a juke. Oh, yeah, beautiful second and yeah. one. And you almost want, you want him to get that first down. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd rather him get a first down He right has there. to burn that time out because you know that we was going to the two-minute mm -hmm. warning. Second Beamer. and one right up the seam. He finds Jimmy Graham once again. It's a first down. Timeout taken by Torrey on life support. Uh oh. That Omaha lit up. Early gets three. That's all the timeouts Tory has. No more protection. Yeah, desperately. Desperately. And not even just the timeouts. He can't give up five yards here. You know, five to six yards, he in field goal range. And now you, you know, you now you gotta rely on an onside kick, which you you don't want to have to rely on that. Corner route. Oh, he free-formed it. He free-formed it out of bounds. Clock stops, third and seven. Mm, needs five yards. It's a lot of pressure right here just to pick up something. Even if you don't get the first, make sure you get in field goal range. Yeah, got to get in field goal range right here. Over the middle, Lay drag down. route. Oh, oh my. he didn't catch it. He had him. He missed him. Wow. And he's bringing the offense back out on wow. the field. And that's wow. why you can't ever get too rattled about what happens to you because Madden give Life? it. But Madden will take it as well. Oh, my goodness. I think you got to send heat right here. Graham. Oh, oh, the run is right. oh he got him. catch. 25-yard line. It's and Abram. He can kneel this one out and wrap this one up like the Christmas presents under the tree. We got a new belt winner. What a clutch pickup on fourth and seven. That's that's a that's a game defining. That's a legacy defining play, man. And just you know, if you Abram, you just gotta be so ecstatic about what you just did, man. You know, you made two live events, and out of two of your live events, you got a belt. You know, people don't do that. People don't do mm -hmm. that. Take a look one more time, user. Wheel route to Ayuk. Isaiah Pacheco couldn't make the play, but Brandon Ayuk sure could. He had two people open right there, the running back. I was like, I was thinking, 
Oh, man, that's a tough pass that he threw to the sideline, but throw it to the wheel route, swerve inside, picks up the first. The running back was wide open, but way to be patient. Keep this drive going. And let's be honest, Abram played the best ball today. He did, period. He played the best ball. Torrey, he had some fortunate breaks, you know what I'm saying, turned the ball over two times, two interceptions. But Abram, you know, even though he didn't capitalize on those turnovers, he didn't let that bog him down and was able to keep himself mentally in this ball game and put himself in a great position to win his first belt. Yeah, Torrey just made too many, you made too many mistakes. You know, he, had, he would have had to play perfect. And, and Abram played, once again, the second half. He just, he finds a way to get stops and just get the job done. He's going to take his three right here. Now, here's what I'll say. I'm not saying the game Live. is over. But Torrey did score in two plays in the half. Yes. Yeah. And we've seen what onside kicks are like. It, it is not technically over. It's not over. But... Man, you got to feel good if you're Abram being able to take those knees, use this clock. He's going to be able to get this down under 30 seconds, take his three, and then it's just played some defense. Yeah, you got to live with that. You know, you got you to live with, with... Don't don't get the kick blocked or anything. Like Kick it perfect. I, this is probably the most nervous he's ever been for a kick in his life. You know, you definitely got to make sure you get this perfect. You got grammatical. Make sure you got the meter slowed down. Oh, he doesn't get it perfect, but it's in there. It's up and good. The exclamation point from Abram, who takes a 10-point lead. Here we go, boys. 26 seconds left. You got to run deep. You got to run deep. Anything, the sideline is cool. You just can't, you really can't give up seven here. Oh, oh my. Ooh, ooh, Ed, oh, Ed, my. Edron James? Edron Can James? James? Can he make a house call to the end? We're going to have another onside kick for the game. Lies? We're living on the edge. James to the house. Life? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. We going to get a belt he winner to, survive another to onside an onside kick. kick. Oh, zoom my in goodness. On, zoom in on them. Please zoom in on them. I need, I need to see this. Oh, I need my. to see One this. One more time. Oh, he got a different kick. We yeah, have, I haven't seen this low kick. This is a low kick. This is mm -hmm. a low kick. We haven't seen many of these. Oh, this might be glitchy. Oh. He missed he it. Oh, he, it missed he missed it. He missed it over the top, and Abram recovers it. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. He came out with a different strategy. Oh, my God. And went right over the top of the recovery. Oh, my God. And Jeez. after two potential cardiac events at just the oh, young man. age of 18 years old, to quote the band Foreigner, it feels oh. like the first time Abram has his first belt. I just want to let it be known, I did pick a. <laughs> and his sister coming in to celebrate with him. Family on his side. We'll get to talk to the champ. What a finish to this game. Hold up that belt, young fella. The first one. He never wants to see an outside kick in his life ever again. Let's go, man. I mean, that's. That's, I mean, let's be honest, Abram played the best ball today, and he had to fight through adversity. The turnovers, you know, just the stuff that was happening to him, a lot of people would have been flustered. He was able to keep his head on the shoulders at such a young age, 18 years old. You know, take a look back at this onside. I don't know how many people wouldn't have a cardiac Two guys right had a chance now. at it. And it, it went 10 yards. It went 10 yards, man, but just kudos to him and just fighting, man. Didn't play his best game, but made plays when it mattered. Wouldn't be a Madden game without a little drama at the end. But Abram adds his name to the select list of champions of in the MCS list of belt winners. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Abram is your zero chill challenge champion. And man, what a tournament it was. I mean, the champ is here. Taking home the dub. Abram joining us at the desk. Abram, 
How, how do you feel about onside kicks? Like, you like them? Take them out the game. Okay, <laughs> just we're done. The game. We're done with them. Yeah, man. I mean, oh. you, you take home your first belt. I mean, what a holiday present this is to to get the title. Just talk to me about what that moment was like when you saw that onside kick go between. He had the recovery, and your guy was able, especially after the tip catch at the end of the half, to get on that one and seal a victory. That had to be a big sigh of relief. It was very. I during the game, I just try to relive it a little bit. Enjoy this. <laughs> yeah, like, and they missed it. They missed it. Man. Did you see the speed kick before? Uh, was that your first time seeing that? The low yeah, kick. The low kick. The low kick. My first time. Yeah, I have I a feeling we might it, see it a couple more it. times in ladders. From I, there's some people who are watching this at home going, I can do this. Oh yeah, been that quick. <laughs> yeah, we did. Hopefully yeah. nobody's watching. Hopefully yeah, nobody's yeah. seen that. Hopefully everybody's oh watching. Goodness, yeah, delete man. that from the bot. Just delete yeah. Clef sitting here at the desk. I hope nobody's watching. Well, that's not what we want to hear at the desk. Thanks, Clef. Appreciate you. It's been a good having I'm you here. Done. I'm done. Yeah, okay. I'm done. I'm done. You've had a good run, man. I've had a lot it's been a fun. pleasure. We'll having. see you later. Good work with y'all, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you next time. Well, hey, Bugs, what you doing right now? Can you get, get here quickly? Uh, let's take a look at the highlights from this game because this game really was a different feel from the first one. We got Abram with us. Start out fourth and six. You're able to get the early interception with Josh Allen. Uh, a good lurk. Not able to cash in on that one, but was that a little bit of a, a sigh of relief early to get that defensive stop? Um, for sure. Especially with how hard defense is in this game. That was my first time playing them. To get it like, hold them to not even getting the first down, I think that was like, that gave me a lot of confidence I needed to win that game. Why not take that three on opening drive when you already get that stop? Because my well, my mentality is like, like I feel like like I, I just play to win. Like if kicking three right there, yes, yeah, like the smart thing. But like and winning big games, like getting seven right there puts you in like a like a really good spot where three is just like you want to you want to like a cool little spot. But like like seven guarantees you like like it's a real good spot in the game. Two two events, you know, you get a final four and you get a belt. How, like, mm. talk to the people. What a like, year. How, yeah, how do you make that? That's not normal. You know, I don't. that's mm -hmm. not normal for it's people not. to make two events. Not only is it not, he's the only one that's made two of these challenges. The final fours, he's the only one to do that. Yeah, and you done made two. You know, talk, talk to us, like, wh what are you built of? What's your mentality? Where's your heart at to be able to do that, you know, and, and two events? You know, how do you even get to that? Uh, it's just a lot of preparation, a lot of reps, a lot of, uh, like, just playing the game, making sure that, like, I'm, like really good, Prepare. got a good, yeah, like good preparation for sure. Like I came into this tournament feeling the best I ever did, and like I think I showed that. And I felt like, like if I just played how I usually play, I was going to like win the belt, like kind of, like uh, easy. Look, I love that reaction there. When you saw Jerry Rice not get his feet in bounds on that touchdown, that was insanity. And then, then <laughs> the swing of emotions. That one had to feel great. You do a masterful drive, the and then Edron James one juke move. There's not a soul to tackle him. Is that an oh no moment for you as he's running down the sidelines? Yes, bro. Tory got so he got so much like just just lucky stuff that game, and I was just like I was wow. trying my hardest. <laughs> I don't know. It seemed like the game won him no way, to be honest. And, you, and oh. you know, you came out there, you didn't have gift wrapped on your first drive. It seemed like it made you pay for it, but then the rest of the game, they held on to passes that was contested that I didn't think you would hold on to. I mean, think talk about that decision to choose to go with slot apprentice over gift wrap. All right, so uh, my offense without uh, without slot apprentice, when I just had like four seven AP quarterback, I was like I was so limited. Like it's using only stock routes in my playbook. Like I made the live with it, but I knew I had to like switch something up when I got here. And then lucky for me, they released uh, that Otto Graham card who got discounted gunslinger, so I left me some AP and I took off guns. I had to rip like sacrifice gift wrap for that slot apprentice just to give me like. It makes makes for so much more mix-ups and different combos. I could easily just, uh, just attack somebody. It was it was cool watching because it, I felt like you know we've already we've we talked about it last time you were here. But you're a guy who likes playing chess. You, you've played a lot of chess. Mm -hmm. We saw the chess game in action here. Did you kind of feel that mid game? Because it felt like every time you mixed up, Tori was mixing up defense and offense. This was a true chess game. Oh yeah, it really was. Um, I I started. Like during the first half, I wasn't gonna blitz him because he didn't, he didn't have a set feet lead. So I was just trying to rely on my KOs to, you know, just knock the ball out because it's gonna float in the air. But he knew how to counter that, so I had to start mixing up some pressure on him, try to get him uncomfortable a little bit, and then uh, just I got my big stop when I needed it in the red zone. That really won me the game right there. You know, you pretty much I think you secured your spot to the Madden Bowl, and I know Clef is thanking you because you kept Tory. First off, you took care of. 
Dottermans. So Dottermans is still behind him for the people in the bubble. You gotta like, shake this man's hand. Yeah, and, thank you. And Dude, D. Croft, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, you know, Tory is only 50 points ahead of him. So that was a, a blessing for people that's on that bubble. And that's what we talked about it before. Everyone was rooting for you to win. Yeah. Because they knew the point situation. They pretty mm -hmm. much felt like, hey, Abram's going to be in the bowl regardless. We might as well, he might as well go ahead and win this thing and put himself in that top five, now top six players that yeah. we know that's going to be there. How does it feel to know that I pretty much secured my spot to be in Madden Bowl? Oh, man, it feels great because, you know, the, the main goal is Madden Bowl, like no matter what. And so knowing that I got that secured, mm. I also look forward 1950, to 1950, that's where you are right now. Again, it's not mathematically locked, but man, it would take a lot, especially yeah, take I a mean, lot. you're going to play in the playoffs, so it's not yeah. like you're going to – he's not sleeping through. He's going he's to make sure he's up for that one. But you yeah. see that top five this year. And and to think about not just taking home your belt here, but now you got an opportunity to compete for $250,000 mm -hmm. and another belt. And by belt, we mean a ring. Because it's it's a ring at the Madden Bowl, mm -hmm, you still yeah. got playoffs, and you're just 18 years old. Is it is it hard to wrap your mind around what you've already accomplished in just one year? Oh uh, yeah, it is insane. I like I could not have predicted this at all this year. Like especially with balance in school too. Like I got finals next week. Like I, I got to study for that. Like as soon as you I got get back home. Yeah, it's going to be. So you can't do decide. more. You got to decide. Like I tell him all the time, you got to decide. You're going to be a man player or be a good father. Now, you're going to be a good student or you're going to be a good player. Good, uh, good man player. What you going to do? <laughs> He's got a belt. He's been down low. I would also like to point out that Nick maybe oh. the most impressive part of this, he defeated the mush. He did defeat the him. The mush came he out did, and tried to take him down. The, the, I never tried to take him down. <laughs> I, got you, he I don't know why y'all try to talk about the mush. We talked about it before. None of y'all believed in the mush. It was just like, at the end of the day, yeah. hey, those guys got to come out there and perform, right? Yeah. The mush is real. The mush is no, real. But, no, I got to ask, uh, did you wear the red, the red, the all red for the holidays? This felt very fitting. I mean, so, you kind of match Santa. You <laughs> match St. Nick out there. You gifted yourself with a belt. That's a nice gift to get yourself. Is this a yeah. holiday theme? Um, it really wasn't. I just, I just thought it was, I was more comfortable in, and it was just, just a little like hoodie and sweatpants. So, I, I wasn't really considering Ooh. that, but I guess it's, it just fits. Who wore it better? Yeah, everyone got clothes. Yeah, everybody got clothes. Yeah, but everybody, I gotta ask yeah. you: the people gonna want to know, <laughs> man. Do you have a Do you have an ebook? Do you have a guide? Is that in the works? Man. Because the people gonna be asking. They, they how, gonna, how can they be like? How, how can they be? How can they be like? What can they find? What you doing? Are you streaming? Like what? You know what I'm saying? What's yeah. in, What's in the works for you now that you got this momentum and got this built? Uh, I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch. So I'm gonna stream this ladders and uh, next week of limbs. And my uh, Twitch name is abram 4 pf If you wanna watch that, y'all can. But I don't got no ebook or nothing. I really didn't have like, like I just got a monitor set up like two days ago because I used my most year money for that. But I made this lot playing on the TV. I made the other lot playing on the TV. And so I feel like, like I, I really got it off the mud with this match. So. And you got to get a camera because you be on Twim and you know your setup, man. You got your yeah. phone behind oh, you. Yeah. It, it's crazy. Yeah. At least get another table in there so we can have a phone next time we do an interview. You All know right. what I'm saying? The nah. phone in front wow. of you. He, he, uh, see, he comes out. He wins a belt. He goes, so let me tell you a shopping list which you need to make my show better. <laughs> hey, the crazy thing That's is, crazy. like, you know, hey, we was playing when he was on the show. He said, yeah, I got to set the phone up right here. And then he turned his back and lock in. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm the upgrade for the game. Nice, oh, nice, yeah. finally get the fish off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, <laughs> enjoy this win. En I mean, you you're taking home a belt at 18 years old. The future's looking bright. Good luck qualifying for the playoffs. Good luck, hopefully, Thank in the you. Madden Bowl. Uh, and uh, Thank you. Great job adding your name to history. There are not too many people that have this right. belt, and you have etched your name in Madden history. So congratulations to Abram. He is you. your zero chill champion. Now, before we get out of here, you know, I don't know if you hear that. You hear that, you hear that beeping? It's a dump truck, it I is. think. It's backing up. It could be Santa's sleigh. He might be wow. taking off, but we got wow. a dump truck to give away. And look at what you're getting. Calvin, TJ Watt, Shannon Sharp, and Jalen Hurts are winner of the dump truck. John Poole 391. John Poole 391. Is that you? That's a little low. Hey, man, congratulations. That's, you're you're going to be set for the playoffs. Congratulations to you. All four of those mutt items are on the way. Care of St. Nick. Remember that we'll be back in January for the playoff challenge. Registration is open right now and runs through Saturday, December 11th. Ladies and gentlemen, we're done for the night, but we know some of you still need some time to get your drops, given we had one less game. So keep the stream up on your laptops or cell phones. 
We want to provide you with the opportunity to grab them as a thank you for being loyal viewers. You guys were awesome all night long. For everybody here from San Francisco for one great user club of God, I am Nick Mazesco. We'll be back in 2024. Happy holidays, and we'll see you in 2024. It is Dodimus taking on Abram for a spot in the final. Terry Rice inside, outside, end zone. Abram, a masterful first drive. Inside, he's got Carter to the pylon, a beautiful throw, and a point to the camera. In his first live event user, Dodimus looks calm, cool, and collected. Right side, Todd Gurley. First down and more. Juke's back to the middle. Breaks a tackle and break it hard. Amo! Think about it. Falcons oh, and Juke move inside and Kyle heads to the house. No mistake, I promise. He throws it up to Carter. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Off that the was, tip oh and God. a prayer up to the big man upstairs. Takes the corner. That's a beam. Open wide open. Too easy. Randy. Oh, let's go. Oh. Fuck you, Joe.